What it should be. This is your boy N O R E. What up? It's DJ E F N. And this is Drink Chats, motherfucker. Yappy Hour. Make some noise! Now, when we talk about this guest right here, when you Google the word Miami or you look up the word Miami in the dictionary, his face pops up. Mm. He's not only a culinary king, I've been to the man crib and he could cook it and put it down. He's a legend. Been out here monkey fucking and kicking ass for 20 years. Currently with the number one morning show, doing their motherfucking thing, out here doing what he gotta do. And we're gonna get it into this business, we're gonna talk, we're gonna drink, we're gonna smoke, and we're gonna have motherfucking fun. Because in case you don't know who the hell I'm talking about, I'm talking about the one, the only, Trick Daddy Woo! motherfucking dog! What's going on? What's going what on? on What's going on? Yo, so let me ask you straight up. Have you watched Versus? I, I I seen it Versus last week that was very disturbing. Okay, I don't know where you're going with it this trick. It was disturbing? <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting I, that answer. Because, okay, so I was looking forward to doing Versus, mm. but last week looked like battle rap mm. slash MMA mm. slash disrespect. Ooh. WWF shit. Uh, <laughs> but they did, in, in, in retrospect, they did say to each other that they was going to disrespect each other, but not invite each other to their Frank stand. No, no dick jokes, none of that. That's what I heard. That's what was established. I mean, I, I heard that later. I, okay, yeah. I, you know, I did my homework afterwards. Mm -hmm. But doing the verses, I was like on the edge, and I couldn't even hear it. A word. I was in a club. I couldn't even I hear. I figured you was in the that, club, that, the strip that, club. That's how disrespectful. <laughs> that's how disrespectful this shit was to me. Wow. Because you just seen the gesture. I seen it. Slap the shit off the head. <laughs> yeah. Motherfucker sleep on the stage. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then I listened to. Uh, I listened to Jada Rip. Uh, that Biggie track. Oh yeah, that's crazy. crazy. Yeah. And I was like, He's a what? dick, y'all pussy, y'all neighbors. What? <laughs> I, I'm not good at that. <laughs> <laughs> and between that and the Jeezy and the Oh Gucci yeah. Man. Gucci I, man. I, let me be clear. I was scared watching that Gucci was and Gucci that Man. Was different. I was I was I was I wasn't even in Atlanta and I was scared. I was looking at that shit like something gonna happen. But I didn't feel like that with the locks and um and dipset. I didn't think they went too far. You didn't think they went too far? Nah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. I thought I thought they they especially knowing they had a tour set up right after it. Yeah, yeah, but not not even knowing because not even knowing that they had their tour set up um, uh, after it. I just thought it was I thought it was I thought it was I thought it was competitive. I don't I don't want to do that. If I yeah. do verses, I'm not going to do that. But who would you consider doing verses with? I, I get find two niggas and tell them to jump me. <laughs> I was like, I, I was like, they wanted me to do a versus with Boosie, and I was like, nah, like Boosie, that's 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 my dog. Right. That's and dope. everybody like, oh, it's good for hip hop. No, 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 no. If I do you, if I do you a versus, right. I'ma smash your ass. Right, right. We, we I'm not gonna come out there. I'm not gonna come out there playing because you're right. not gonna play with me. Right. right. And plus, Billboard and all the right. other magazines, they're gonna chart this shit. Right. They're gonna give. They're gonna rate a winner and yeah, a loser. That's real. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Hot Junior say the second place is the first one to lose, and I'm not gonna be first right. place, first one to lose. Right. But, but there, there has been verses where it's been respectful. The Trina E verse. Trina, yeah. And I see, I see you, you, you was out I, there. I, I, I think the Trina and E verse. But had they been in the same room, would it have been the same energy? I, I believe so. 
Really? Because we right. see the difference between Miami and other cities. I was telling somebody this on Clubhouse uh -huh. yesterday. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We welcome all. When y'all wasn't listening to our shit in right. New York, right. we was listening to y'all. Right. Like I knew who you was right. when, when you ain't know who I was. I was listening to y'all shit too. You gonna stop putting me in this New York category? Like, like come on, but, nigga. But, I, but, I, I, but, I, I, but I'm saying, <laughs> when I, but I say y'all. I, mean, I know like what you mean. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Because there's there's a lot of cats from New York that really know my music. They had to like tell me like Big Cap. I fuck with Big Cap. Right, God bless that. God bless yeah. that Big Cap always showed me love. He mm -hmm. always knew my music. Yeah, yeah. I did I did, I did interviews in Jersey, Philly, right. uh, Baltimore, right. DC, right. when I've interviewed with some of the biggest DJs, and they didn't know who I was. Right. They, they asked me, did I have the record? Because they wanted to play the record coming right. back into Meaning the that break. They didn't even have the record. Man. That's bozos. Fuck them, whoever so, they are. So right? I was like, yeah. but as for us coming from Miami, mm -hmm. we we got people from all walks of life. Right. We got mm. Cubans, Colombians, mm. Haitians, uh, Haitians mm. Asians. Mm. We got Africans, mm. Jamaicans, <laughs> Trini, Guyanese. Yeah, niggas just shouting out they, they, they nationality right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just realized we're the United Nations of this shit. Yeah, we, we, got got everything. Everything. we got everything. We got everything out here, nationality. Like, we, have, we got Oye's and Chico. Right. Nobody right. don't understand. We got Oye's <laughs> and Chico. Shit. Shit. Like, you feel me? Like, so, real shit. <laughs> so we always, we always knew you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everybody music. And uh -huh. I'm surprised when I tell you, when I tell y'all this, y'all not gonna believe it. Uh -huh. That Purple Haze album by Cameron, uh -huh. that's one of my top 20 favorite albums. Mm. Wow. 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 That's dope. Because when I listen to music, I wanna hear the intermissions, which the, the, what, what, what they used to call them back then? The interludes. Okay, the skits. Uh -huh. skits right. yeah. The skits. I wanna hear the skits. And he got one where the girl called and was like, she ain't got nobody to keep up, baby. He was like, fuck them kids. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, and then this nigga was never scared to wear the pinks and the, and right. the mint green yeah. and the yellow, bright yellow. So, so was, you, was you disappointed seeing that, like? I, I don't know who won. And, okay. and, 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 like the, the case with Trina and Eve, mm -hmm. I don't think nobody won because we love Eve. Right, right, fire, fire. We love Eve, like we love everything that we do. And Eve ain't like, like a chick that luck up and got a music game. Right. Eve with music, right. Eve with music, television to movies to a billionaire. Like, right. Right. she done made it. Yeah. Like respect her. Right. Right. Like and then we did. I think it was it was one of the better looking and better quality sound. I don't know how they pulled that off, but it was right. better quality. We talking about Eve and Trina. The, okay, the yeah. sound, the look, everything about it. Because I went back and I looked at it and I was like, this and is was historical. In and it almost didn't happen. Right. Word. Yeah. I, but I thought they was all supposed to be in, in the same room together at first. And then like, like the last minute. I, however they did that. I uh -huh. didn't know nothing about it. Right. You didn't know about the verses. I got to verses. Uh, people think it was a, it's, it was it was playing when Trina was like Trina did two songs that me and her on together. Uh huh. That bitch I don't need you, mm -hmm. and she did um, take it to the house. I believe mm -hmm. a shut up. Mm -hmm. And she was like Trick couldn't be here. <laughs> I didn't know nothing about it. <laughs> You're like, I could have been there. <laughs> and then you know, and you then you know how to. Uh, at a, we filming, we filming at the time, so you know the network they want to COVID test you. Yeah. So they test me literally at like four o'clock, five o'clock. Mm. Then it was storming, mm. so I stayed at home waiting for the the the, the, the uh, you know the weather to calm that right. it didn't. Right. I, I I had to do like a hundred. I, I I did a donut on the expressway and all. I got there. Wow. Two songs before now. Wow. So when I came out, if you look, uh. she was really surprised. <laughs> right, right. Okay. The only person who knew I was there was the DJ and the uh. hype man. Right. So, but I, I think that that was one of the best. And somebody disrespected me last night on on, 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 on these um, apps. Clubhouse? <laughs> they said that not even Michael Jackson could compare to R. Kelly. And I was like, man, you, what's... what's what the fuck you smoking, yo? <laughs> Dope or dog food? Like, what the fuck? I said, Michael Jackson, listen, don't eat, look, check this out. <laughs> if you ain't had no Michael Jackson jacket, nigga, don't even mention my nigga name, yo. <laughs> What's wrong with you, nigga? The zippers, too, right? The zippers. Michael Jackson, yeah. rap was famous. <laughs> ben. 
You know, rat? You didn't know Michael Jackson had a pet rat named Ben? I knew he had a monkey. No, I knew he had a monkey, but... He had a rat. That's the first thing he had. His daddy trapped it and killed it, and oh. Mike went crazy when he was a little boy. He wrote a song about it, rat. Oh, shit. And, and I was like... And not so, a snitch. We're not talking about a snitch, No, right? we're talking uh, about a rat. We're talking about a... A little confused, right? He yeah. called it a mouse. He called it a mouse because okay. he, he, you know, he grew up in a little... A solid home, really. Uh-huh. You got mom and daddy hard workers and raising all the kids. Like uh-huh. that's 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 not common amongst black people that I that I remember. Uh-huh. If we, the black people I knew, we grew up in the projects. The daddy mm. wasn't there because they weren't allowed to be there. Mm. So when I, when my Michael Jackson story was the the real Bill Cosby story, where I was I never believed in the Cosby show. I was like, ah, that ain't. Real. Oh hell no! The daddy a doctor, the mama a lawyer, the daddy a doctor. Oh hell no! That ain't that ain't believable. Everybody get along. They ain't fighting in the house. They ain't doing nothing. Like nobody ain't sneaking out. Nobody ain't getting in trouble in school or nothing. No, no, that's that's unbelievable to me. Mm-hmm. But when I watch like watching Michael Jackson and the Jackson Five and his sisters watch them develop and grow up, mm-hmm. I just think that you didn't, you can't mention nobody name in the same. Because Papa Jackson wasn't no joke, right? Joe, no, Joe, Jackson. Joe, wasn't, Joe Jackson. Joe wasn't happy. Nah, he was yeah. hardcore. Yeah, he was, he was hardcore. And then he said, then I said, okay, he said, what's the, he said, well, name somebody, uh, dead or alive, that could compare R. Kelly. And I was like, wait a minute, uh, you got some young hoes at your house or something? <laughs> I'm like, why you keep talking about R. Kelly? Like, I said, and who is I this said, person? Ba- I said, babyface, nigga. He's like, babyface don't stand a chance. I said, how old you is, man? <laughs> <laughs> because I, I respect R. Kelly and everything he did, music, right? right? right. But not the P part? Kenneth, babyface, Evans? I think it's even past the P part. <laughs> past the P part. You, you don't get over the P part. Kenneth, babyface, Evans? Uh-huh. Evans? Right. You don't, so I had to go to Wikipedia. All right. And I went to call out the shit he wrote, or he sung on, or he mm. featured on, or produced. And, and this is in alphabetical order. Mm. And they was like, all right, we get it. I was still on B. Right. I was like, Teddy Roddy and, 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 and um, that boy did a versus, but really, Teddy Roddy really ain't stand a chance. Right. That was just technical difficulties, too. They was he, like, I don't give a he damn. didn't know how to work the internet at he all. Didn't know how to work. He didn't stand a chance. That's <laughs> the best thing that could have happened to him. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> because we have an alibi <laughs> for him now. <laughs> <laughs> Man, when I had to show them like the White Nick Sale soundtrack, uh-huh. one of the best soundtracks right. I ever had, that's <laughs> Babyface. Right here. Nah, Babyface is a legend. Babyface and Quincy Jones are the two of the baddest boys ever did this shit. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And it, 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 it's like music now, it scares me. Mm. And, you know, they taught me to do it, so I'm gonna do one more album. I'm gonna do a last okay. album. I'm thinking of a name to say goodbye, but without saying bye. Like, you know, I don't want to jinx myself. And they was like, oh, he probably knows. I don't want to die after the <laughs> shit come out. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 like, right. I don't want to do that. So I want to name it something that keeps me alive, but pass the game down some type of shit because before the pandemic, which was a little, little, little over a year and a half, two years, about two years ago, yeah. mm-hmm. there was a hot rapper. And then three months later, there was another hottest rapper in the game. Right. And then a month later, there was another. And then two months later, there was another. Mm. I don't think hip-hop's supposed to be that easy. Mm. I That's agree. A good point. That's a good point. I think the easier hip-hop becomes, the less hip-hop will be worth as far yeah. as catalogs. Right. I don't think none of the new mm. catalogs will be worth our catalogs. Mm. I agree. Sure. No, that's true. I agree. I agree. Because, and, and, and the, reason why I, the reason why I appreciate my catalog, because... Right. If they come with the right money, they could buy that bitch. All right. Uh, yeah, uh, everything for sale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything must go. Right now. Man, everything must go. And, and, and I just think that I think that they're they're more they're more trendy peoples. Mm-hmm. They're more groupies, mini me's, me mm-hmm. tools. Mm-hmm. They're more clones. Yeah. There's more trolls than there are actually hip hop fans. Yep. Yeah. Like we had T Pain on here, and he said there's actual more, more chairs. artists than there is chairs in this world yeah. right now. Wow. Like there's more artists than there is chairs to sit on. It's true. Like if you take all the artists in the world, they wouldn't and be able to sit down on, on just the chairs. Like when you think about that, that's some fucked up business to be in. I was thinking about like, Rolling Loud. Rolling Loud. They had 175 people performing. 175 acts. Not including the, not including the, 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 uh, the sound man. Not including the groups. I'm talking about 175 different acts. Right. Let's be clear. You only cared about four of them. Let's just be clear. 
I, I, I probably would care about two of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't disrespect them. No it's disrespect. Like, first of all, because it was three stages, and I'm definitely y yeah. not finna walk all, all over that shit. I ain't never been to walk over some type of shit. Right. I walked growing up in the hood because my mama had no car. <laughs> but you know, don't get it twisted. If we had a car, I wasn't fucking walking. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but the main stage, mm -hmm. and I, I watched, um, and I never, I never watched Megan Thee Stallion perform before. Right. I watched that thick bitch perform. That bitch put on a show. She did you hear thing. me? Yeah, she did the thing. No disrespect for calling a bitch, but you know, yeah, you know. I, I mean, when I say bitch, I mean like titties. Right. Like, no, like. <laughs> I, 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 that's, that's the best way to clean that. <laughs> I, that's why. That's why I never apologize. That's why I never apologize because I don't know how to apologize. Right? <laughs> no, that was a good. That's why they should tell the baby like, just don't say nothing. You're about to ask you, you, know, that's, you took the question right out of my mind, like. Was it? Did you? Was you there? Because you said you saw Megan. Did he come he, on right before Megan? Yes, he did. Okay, and he brought out Tory Lanez yeah, he too. Brought, right after he brought out Tory Lanez, uh -huh. within five minutes after that is when Man the shit out. hit the fan. Oh. With the, with the, with the yalla yalla when he start talking that talk. And oh, he said that at Rolling Loud? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that's where he said it. Yeah. And they said, they said, they said, they tried to say it was 50,000 people out there. Uh -huh. Try 500,000 yeah. at that main stage. Wow. I know how to fucking count. He used to sell right. crack cocaine. I know how to fucking count. <laughs> right, right, right. Just imagine. So you you seeing this live. Just imagine from this stop sign mm -hmm. to this stop sign. Mm -hmm. Those were people, yo. Right. right. And they're wide, too. And just as wide. Right, right, wide. A football field. Wow. Bullshitting. Wow. It's the parking lot of a stadium. Wow. <laughs> And he, I, I seen me, and, I, and as he brought Tory Lane to her, I remember the last, this is the last thing I remember because the shit fucked my head up so bad. Tory Lane had on like this little suit or something. Yeah. He took off the hat, the little character. I don't know what the character is, but uh -huh. it's yeah. one of the little character, like a chipmunk looking like character or whatever. But Tory Lane took the thing off and it was Tory Lane's. All right. And after they did a song, they did another song. And then I, well, I was talking up in the VIP area, me and Oop was talking, uh -huh. and then I heard a girl say, did you hear what the fuck he just said? And then from there, like, nobody wasn't booing and then, like, people was just, like, what? Yeah. And I don't think he, eh, I don't know what it is, but I think when, when you do, because no, nobody's perfect. Right. When you do say things, it's not about, it's a different if you say something to hurt somebody, right. than you saying something that hurts somebody. You understand? Like, mm -hmm. like, I'm purposely saying, like, fuck y'all motherfuckers and what about that squad. And then me making a comment about it, not knowing it's a touchy right. subject to you. Right. Not knowing, because he's, he's still a young nigga, he's still fresh in the game. Right. Not having an OG or a coon, somebody around him to tell him, listen, I always remember, times change, why you gotta watch what you say type right. shit. Mm, right. So, I mean, repeat it again, because I think I, I lost Nori a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no, time's changed. You there's, just, difference, yeah. there's a difference between me saying something that I offended yeah. you by right. and by me saying something to offend, offend you. Yeah. Right. There's, there's a point. And the worst thing for me and certain dudes who are street, real street dudes, because mm -hmm. if you notice, a lot of rappers now are really street dudes. Yeah, yeah, like, they, they don't like nothing else. But rap, they got yeah. rap. If you don't let them rap, they're going to be in the streets. They're right. going to trap. Like, yeah. And it's, it's hard for us to apologize. It's hard for us to explain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and that's why I see why my lawyer always tell me, no, 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 don't take the stand. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they, 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 if they come to you with a good plea, we're going to just take it. <laughs> right. Trust me, like, when you get on the stand, mm -hmm. when you try to explain it, they're going to bring it up other shit. They're mm -hmm. going to search it for other shit. Right. Mm -hmm. The first thing they do is bring up your past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you got other motherfuckers who you offended. Uh, a motherfuckers that's friend of somebody you offended who don't even hear what you said. Wow. They got the most to say. Wow. And the people who wasn't offended want to cancel you. Yeah. It's, it, I think, boy, it's only a few niggas ain't been canceled. You ain't been canceled yet, Noor. Yeah, they've been trying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they tried. We had a rough Vincent, week. We had a couple. We couple had a couple of rough weeks, boy. Trust me. And you know what's fucked up with our shit? Is we were trying to do the right thing. We did a Black Lives Matter episode. And we put Russell Simmons on. And they was like, his life does not matter. Let's swear to God. And everybody, I'm like, this is Russell. I didn't even know he, all the allegations that he had. Like, if you would have seen the, 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 the people. Problem, the problem is, man, we have to stop trying to live these people's lives. Everybody got their own fucking lives. You can't judge a person off of how, what they've been through in life, man. Yeah.
They want to judge everybody off what they've been through in life and they pass and they say, oh, this person rich or this person broke. What the fuck do it matter? The rich nigga ain't giving you no money. They always want to say, oh, he got money. That's his fucking money. <laughs> That's why I get tired of these bitches. They want to go fuck the rich niggas for free and $40 me to death. Oh, hell no. <laughs> You ain't get no money. You was on the yacht. You was in right. You pulled up in the in the, in the ghost. Uh -huh. And you was on the yacht. You got the the thousand dollar slides on, the ten thousand dollar Birkin bag, and you want me to give you how much? <laughs> no man. The, the, the world fucked up, and we have to. And we, we listen. Hip hop together. Hip hop. We're a family. Right. We got to be able to tell other people in our family right. when they're doing something wrong right. without them being offended. Right. We got to be able to protect everybody in our family. Right. Well, and just like it's people stepping up, denouncing them, some, some people need to step up like, listen, he didn't know. Right. I talked right. to him. Yeah. Yeah. People don't do that. They yeah. wait for your downfall. Yep. And yeah. there's another nigga in the back saying, oh, I'm going to be the next one. When right. they cancel him, I'm going right. to be hot. All right. But baby, the baby is one of those ones that you're gonna always remember him because he don't sound like nobody. He sounds yeah. like the baby. Yeah, very true. That's true, very true. Because there's a hundred thousand of them niggas sounding like. Very true, very true. I'm, I'm gonna get back to the I'm gonna get back to the cancel culture. But what I wanna ask you: How was it transitioning? You know, from waking up in the morning every day into this morning show, like because I because I, you know I went to prison young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I it's went, like you then. Yeah, I love, I love waking up, up early. early. Right, I yeah. wake up that early. Like like I was I was like they I was supposed to film yesterday. I was like oh no, not at no seven o'clock. Right. So what time do y'all start? Y'all start at six to ten, isn't it? Yeah, I oh. be at seven p.m. I'm higher than the giraffe. <laughs> I, 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 I can't do nothing professional <laughs> after after five o'clock. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's over with because I'm, I'm used to waking up in that chain game that you would get programmed to wake up yeah. because ain't nobody gonna wake your ass up yeah. especially in jail in our county jail yeah. they open the door and they put the food in there and walk off yeah. wow. 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 it's bad enough if you soft you won't even you know not yeah. even touch a plate yeah. <laughs> Uh, County here is good. I wake up yeah. early. I, I, yeah. I'm an early bird like you. So it's easy. So it's easy to do the morning. Stuff. Easy. But um, was it was it hard? Because I, I, I seen somewhere where you said this was actually your dream. So at, at first, like we, we naturally talk, we curse when we talk. Right. So was that was that like like you know what I mean? Because the dump button. You mean the dump button? They had to hit the dump button a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah, they got the delay yeah, too. Too. They got the delay and then they got to yeah. get the dump button too. Oh, a delay. Oh, okay. All right, cool. That it's a sense. delay. It's like what five, fifteen, five between five something and like twelve that, yeah. seconds, something like that. Right. But you still got to hit that dump button. Right. And I heard you say Trina don't come late at all. Trina don't come. Well, Trina come everywhere late, but. So what I expect to be late, I, <laughs> Trina usually late, like when it comes to a party or another event, uh -huh. it's the show. Yeah. Four hours late. Right. So if she came late, she'll never make the show. Yeah. <laughs> right. But so, and, and, I, I, and I think since Trina lost her mom, I think she's a totally different yeah. person. I think she's more like the head of the family like type mm. person. So she's like the, the, the breadwinner to go get it. I gotta make mm. sure everybody Mm. You know what I'm saying? Between her and her aunt, her aunt is the um, the only um, my only uh, mama sibling that she deals right. with, and between that, everybody else is younger than Trina. All right. Wow. So I think that 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 right there played a a role that really helped her. You know, mm. they say you lose something to gain um, mm. a lot of things, and I think that's one of the um, the situations right there. I think that's a lot. I think that happens with a lot of us. Is like. Dealing with a loss, you 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 look to work to stay busy, so you ain't sit around and, and thinking that. Like I look at the homie right there, DMX. Like when he, when I when shit, I was with him the last six weeks weeks of his life. So since he passed away, that's all I've been trying to do is work, just not even think of that shit, cause that shit that shit, that shit hurt. You had a relationship with DMX, but you that's my dog, yeah. man. Y'all know yeah. that's my dog, man. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I had that dog like four about three four months before all this. Uh -huh. I I I thought it was one of the rumors. Mm. Well, when you heard he passed away, or when he heard he was in the hospital, period. When I okay, when they I, the first thing I heard that he was he passed away. Remember? Oh no, I didn't. Hear and they was like, right. nah, they lying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was actually in the hospital yeah, at the right. time. Yeah. So I don't know if for, for the family. I don't know who I did was it to keep it away from the public, but right. but like DMX is all right. top five all, right. all, all times. Oh yeah. 
And I and I try not to put them in order. Right. If I get my top five, is in, is in no particular order. But Scarface is there. Scarface is there. Mm-hmm. Tupac is there. DMX is there. is there. Uh, DMX is there. Mm, and oh. the last spot is up for grabs. Mm. I probably mm. put Cube in there. Yeah, okay. Cube got to be in there. Yeah, Cube. Okay. 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 Nah, this is his top five. Yeah, Don't be looking at me. Is this is not yours. Yeah. 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 He already yeah, said Scarface. <laughs> Oh, damn, that's, that's a tough five. Now, I, grew up, I grew up on Brad Jordan. And when mm-hmm. I go to the top 20, I got to put JT Money in there and the Poison Clan because mm-hmm. I grew up on that. Right. right. I don't give a damn if nobody knew about it because when the time they was doing it, it was real hard yeah, yeah. for us to be heard. How like, about Two Live Crew? That, two Live Crew is like my, like, they like my stepdaddies. Right. Like, you know how you got a bunch of stepdaddies? Like, all <laughs> of them is like my stepdaddies. Like, all of they them. molded us to be what we <laughs> The, the beat, like. And Poison Clay was baby two live crew when they right. came out. Yeah. So is Eat Booty Gang still in effect? Well, I, I started, I, I, I built, I'm, I'm building, I'm <laughs> building franchise, a you franchising? <laughs> so, so it's the Eat a Booty Gang. I'm building a franchise up now. I, I, now I'm getting the women to support the Eat a Booty Gang. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Come on, talk. Wait, wait, who is it? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. wait. When you say women to support the Eat Booty Gang, you're yeah. saying women is eating the booty? Yeah, women oh, eat the on. booty too. Wait, up. wait, what? <laughs> yeah. I don't know where to make noise for that or not. Yeah, I get eight out. Wait, wait, what? Where the champagne? I get eight out. Hey, listen, man. Check this out. All right, man. quick. You don't have your legs in the air, though. It depends. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even think about it like that, bro. I see Kick and Free. Listen. Kick and Free ruined my childhood. Listen. I'm on the road. I'm on the road. Kick and Free told me to come to his room to watch to play PlayStation. At the time, I'm 18 years old. I'm really thinking we're going to go play PlayStation. I go to this nigga room. This nigga can put on a, a video. He got his legs wide the fuck up in the air. And the bitch is eating it up. Ruined my childhood. I was never the same. Never looked at PlayStation the same after that. So, or Kid Capri. <laughs> or Kid Capri. No, Kid Capri. It's my man. I got over that. But it was the first time I never seen that. I had never seen that before. That so was, I, I, so you started out eating booty, then what, what, what made no, you No, 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 no. Okay. I, 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 first of all, for, okay. But first of all, I'm a... I'm a, I'm a pleaser first. Mm-hmm. I would prefer to eat the girl out before mm-hmm. she give me head. Because I had a, I had a lot of terrible head. Like, and like there's, there's a lot of there's a lot of non-dick suckers out there. And I, I'm just going to be straight up with it. There's a lot. There, the majority of the women that suck dick, they think that they're supposed to and that they have to suck dick. I want me a woman that appreciate it and love to suck dick. Like, how, like, how, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, yeah, yeah. I can guess <laughs> <laughs> I guess we could talk about that. So I, I, I became a pleaser. It's to the uh-huh. point where it's mm-hmm. to the point where she didn't even gotta suck my dick. Just mm-hmm. let me eat that pussy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then mm-hmm. after a while you gotta you know, you, you got the gooch. You know, cause the women got the gooch too. <laughs> <laughs> What was that? The, that's, the the between, between, that's the between. That's yeah. the between. In between, the little hallway. Yeah, yeah. the little yeah. hallway. Okay, so okay, <laughs> so so that's when, when a girl hit my goose two or three times with the flick of the tongue. I was like, <laughs> it's okay. a whole different kind of episode. <laughs> so I raised the bridge up on her, <laughs> like, hey. <laughs> I'm like, hey, so I raised the bridge up on it. So from you let her on it. Hey, from the, 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 it's just a, it's nothing like oh. the feeling. Then they um, it's like you just take their soul from them, just suck the soul out of them. <laughs> and, and, and when you finish, uh-huh. you go back to the pussy, right after the ass. Try to put the whole pussy in the mouth. I, I don't like innies. I like Audis. I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, the lips. The, 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 the yeah. innies. Like, the oh. innies, like, I like the fat pussies. Like, the innies, like this. <laughs> like, no, 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 I want the. <laughs> you know, the, that, you know, like, you, that, you, can, you can play with that pussy. Like, this is different. <laughs> One of the pussy you can slap around. Like, you know, I, I like them. And, and you put that whole pussy in your mouth and then spit it out and then look up at it and put it in your mouth again. And do a little, <laughs> do that little, do that little pit bull shake on it a little bit. When, when that thing come, when she, you get, tell her get up, and, and, and the legs gonna buckle on her. Woo. I think it's a perfect time to shout out Organic Food Kings. <laughs> <laughs> Check them out at Organic Food. Organic Food. Organic Food. 
<laughs> Pasa eso, loco. Pasa eso. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. That was, that was a great segue, by the way. That was a great... Holy shit, Trick. I wasn't ready. I wasn't yeah, ready. Yeah. So, you now you said Spanish, you're upgrading, though. right? You, you speak said, Spanish? A little bit, a little uh, bit. Enough to not get wrong. Like Spanish. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but you said you upgrading the Eat a Booty Gang. You said you're yeah, well, franchising? Because I'm bringing the ladies What I'm doing in. now is... Uh -huh. I have the Eat a Booty supporter shirts. Okay. And then my next line is going to be I too eat booty shirts. All right. What's the supporter shirt mean? It mean that, like, okay, I, I like that. You can eat my ass. Okay, like, okay. That, that's for the girls. That's for the girls. So when they're wearing that out, we know. They, they, they own it. <laughs> they, they, they bought that life. They bought that life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy moly, guacamole. All right, cool. Oh, my God. All right, cool. Uh, not a quick time of slime yet, because I, I, no. I want to um, get some more drink. So now, who's a new up-and-coming Miami artist that we should be working, looking out for? Your son rap, right? My son my son is doing music now. What's your son's name? Let's pick him up. Well, his, his rap name is Young J, okay? Young J. Okay. Let's make some noise for Young J. Yeah. What's his real name? His, his real name is Jaden. Jaden, okay, okay. okay. So we got him, we got Mike Smith. Okay. We got, well, my, Miami is a, Miami is evolving uh -huh. to the point where as much as we support other people, right. we'll start to support each other now. So that's a good we're thing. We're never good at it, at supporting each other. Yeah, we never did that. Nah, we're never good at it. Nah, yeah. I'm, I'm proud of y'all. Yeah, I see it now. Shout out Denzel Curry. He's, he's oh, been Denzel killing Curry. for a yeah. few years now. Kodak from Broward, but he's still down with y'all. Yeah, yeah, Broward today, same thing, especially when you go to prison. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you, you, you're leaving from South Florida together, and when you get up that road, Dave Broward and Palm Beach is one. Right. Holy right. moly, guacamole. Trick, you don't want to drink? You don't want, um, you want some no, champagne? It's too, early. it's too early. You don't want some Japanese whiskey? You Nothing. want some Mama Juana? Last you want some time, Mama Juana? Last time. I'm white. Man, the last time I came here, man, <laughs> it's all good. Like my my next two days was fucked up. I'm not letting y'all trick. You ain't no booty for the next two days. I'm not letting y'all. Let me get the blunt, boys. I get I get some. I'll take a I, shot. I eat, I eat something. So um yeah yeah I'll smoke 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 up. Um okay, so what do you like? I'll take a water if, if I can get a water. All right, cool. We get you. We get you water. Uh, uh, water. Um, um, what, what, what are you them, them pre roll? Yeah, this is these blunts so, though. You know, I don't, I don't smoke joints. That's a joint. I'm, I'm a blunt now. You know, yeah, we see. We just sell these for a dollar back in the day. <laughs> we selling them for twenty dollars yeah. right now. Ours is noise art. Cooling right now, man. And we got the dispensaries. We got a shout out in L. A. Who got them? And that's yeah. a, that's yeah. Keefe on here. Yeah, that's Keefe yeah. on there. And the new ones, the blunts. We got, and we got the, the blunts too. We got yeah. the blunts yeah. ones coming out of that too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because yeah, a lot of people want the blunts. Yeah. yeah, I'm a blunt guy. I'm a blunt guy. So you gonna smoke all those? I'm gonna try to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I also saw that you say you don't smoke dank no more. What is it called? Gank? Bunk. Dank. Bunk or bunk. You say you don't fuck with bunk no more, yeah. only rapper weed. Dirty. Let's make some noise for that, <laughs> goddammit. Because I ain't gonna lie. Back in the days, this is how I know that's how I know you was in the club. Cause we would be there and then you So be live. So and then you and the boys are coming around, it's different now. But one thing about Nori, though, when you first came to Miami, you came to Miami. Yes. You didn't, Good like, thing. you was on, you wasn't 50 security guards, yeah, thank you, thank 150 you. niggas. Mm -hmm. Maybe two of my friends. Mm -hmm. right. yeah, not, yeah. And you was like, you was, you was, you was fucking with the niggas you was supposed to be fucking with and yep. was in the places. Uh, yep. And you didn't go to jail. I did oh, one twice, time. I did twice. I did twice. twice? But I, well, twice it, yeah. it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't hot like that now. You go to jail yeah. now. You go to jail now. No, what happened? You're going yeah, 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 on yeah, ball yeah, alert, yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you, no, it did, it did go viral. His shit went viral. I had beef with Perez Hilton. Yeah. The dude called me a douchebag. I had never been called a douchebag before. I didn't you know. You thought that was something disrespectful. That was disrespectful, yeah. So I went at him. He went at me. And we squashed this shit later. But yeah, I did, I did go to jail twice out uh, here. Yeah. But um, uh, I was going to ask you about your jail shit, but that's not how I asked about that shit, because who gives a fuck, right? Was, I'm, I'm, I'm clean. You're clean. Let's, 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 you got you to rest in plenty of times. Who gives hey. a fuck? Yeah. <laughs> let's move on. But all right, there's two things we gotta, I got to ask you. Is it's sang gay. and sang and sang. That's two different things? Yeah. Sang and sang. Everybody can sing. Everybody can sing. That's I, I sing you. real good in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> singing is singing is Michael Jackson. Make you get up off your, make you cry, uh -huh. make you get up out your seat, make you reminisce, make you close your eyes. 
Mm. Uh-huh. That's singing. Mm. Church people shit. Yeah, Angela Wimbush, Adele, mm. Whitney Houston, mm. Aretha, Aretha, uh, Alicia, um, Alicia, yeah. Alicia, St- uh, Stephanie Mills, they, Fantasia, mm. Jennifer Hudson. They sang, turn the church out, made the old ladies take off their wig and kick off their shoes in there. <laughs> That that's that that was a different. Uh, a lot of these people you name and, and, Beyonce and, and, can sing better than. Let's just be clear. Uh, can sing better, in my opinion. I mean, yeah, and that's the main thing. That's the main thing. Yeah. What you said, your opinion. My opinion, exactly. And, and, and they tried to make it something that it wasn't. Right. Because they didn't they didn't show the part when I said Beyonce is the number one performer in the world. Mm-hmm. Oh, they cut that part out. Mm-hmm. Anytime you hear a little clip that lasts for a couple seconds, you got to be suspect of that. Mm-hmm. Right. You got to know what was said before and after. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And like I said, we don't know how to explain, mm-hmm. and we damn sure don't know how to apologize. Because remember, we come from the street right. Right. where you don't supposed to apologize. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, sometimes I, I, you can apologize. I, I, there, there ain't never been a time where I had to watch, watch my back, watch where I go, yeah. and I never will. Mm-hmm. I ne- because I respect people too much. Right. If, 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 if it comes to it and I have to flip me a nigga ass, I promise you, it's going to be the, the most violentest shit you ever saw because mm-hmm. somebody's going to record it. Right. Mm-hmm. They, these nosy so motherfuckers well recording everything. It. But I got to ask, has the beehive that came up to you? I don't know. No, Personally? No, no, no. Mate, they, I've never been on MTV Punk. You can't come up to me. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, you can't come up to me. And I've been on Twitter. I, I think the, the Beehive, I think the, the, most of those guys wasn't even, they were, they were trollers. Mm-hmm. Because I, I wasn't being, <laughs> dis, I didn't say nothing disrespectful. That's very true, you did. I, 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 I spoke my opinion. Right. So they, I, I, I'm not concerned about trollers. I never mm-hmm. have been, never will be. I don't care about trollers. Mm-hmm. I don't fuck with Twitter like that because I can go in there and say, Fuck Nori. I remember niggas from uh, Miami took all this jury at Nori. Definitely and he did happen, everybody. I, I know what you mean. <laughs> and, <laughs> that's what you're saying. Every, know, you can say happen. that. Okay, okay. But I'm, I'm saying that didn't happen, though. Just right, but I'm saying, <laughs> once I, but once I do that, yeah, that yeah. happens. So, yeah, so like, they yeah, gonna yeah, cut yeah. that clip. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, and when I, if I send that on Twitter, yeah. Right. Yeah. that's gonna trend. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then it's gonna be some, some random bitch mm-hmm. that's gonna be trying to get close. Uh, some uh, some random dude trying to get close and um trying to get close to ask you, yo, yo, did it really happen? You know who them they mm-hmm. was? Mm-hmm. Then they gonna be some little smackers that want to check. Gonna be like, we'll handle that for you. Oh, he gonna cost mm-hmm. you. Yo, mm-hmm. you can get that one for free. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It just it just, just goes to show that we have to stop tearing each other down. We better watch what's going on with the government. Mm. But, we we, got, but we you think the, we can't even have our opinions no more? Because that's really... Uh, that, it, that's going to fuck up TV. Yeah. That's going to fuck up music. That's mm-hmm. going to fuck up comedy. That's, mm-hmm. that, that's going to fuck the world up if you can't have an opinion. It's already me. fucking it right. up. So that means, you say, say opinions like assholes without them, you're full of shit. Mm-hmm. I ain't never heard that one. Now, just imagine without an asshole. You're going to have to throw this shit up. Right. <laughs> man, you should be vivid, man. Stop it. <laughs> like, I mean, just just think about it, like, but it, it, it's, and it's not it's not so much of what people are doing. It, it's, it's it's people that's in higher places, and I'm gonna say this because I'm I'm, I'm sick of them. It's the Oprah Winfrey. Now, don't get me wrong; she don't owe me nothing. It's the Bill Cosby. Don't get me wrong; he don't owe me nothing. But when you can sit down and do an interview and you can talk down on our black people, but mm. you ain't show me nothing you did for this country, nothing you did for black people. When Oprah, you go to fucking Africa and build school for the girls. When we got girls over here need motherfucking schools, Africa's the richest nation in the motherfucking world, the richest continent in the world. Why the fuck are you over there? What what happened? Why you you made all that money in Chicago? What you did in fucking Chicago that I hear about? I didn't hear nothing about that. Bill Cosby, you do all this shit talking about how black people are embarrassing and this and that. But then you sit on Larry King and talk about you used to put the the um. Uh, the Spanish fly in the girl's drinks, and now you come out of you get out of out of Wait, jail. He said, the he, he said that before he went to jail. Yes, really. God, then didn't you know get that. out of jail and you dapping, and you insult. <laughs> you, you know you raped those women. You dabbing. You do, the only reason why you're out of jail, the technicality, it was set up for you to eventually get out of jail because 
The same shit that sent you to prison was you admitting to some other shit that yeah, you pleaded. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't want a man to go to jail, but don't you could get out of jail, technicality, because the law is the law. Right. Because I went to prison under technicality. If I could go, you can get out under technicality. Okay. But don't get out and assault these victims, yo. Wow. Don't get out and do interviews and act like you were innocent. You wasn't innocent. You acting like Trump now. Mm. You wasn't innocent, yo. They, they, they're prosecuting everybody that, 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 that believed in the Trump situation. But get his ass too and then go get his homeboys. Like, come on, man. I seen a story, Nori, that, that, that was disturbing to me. Mm. Like, was police shit. Mm. A police killed a kid 20 years ago and just got fired recently. 20 years ago. He got paid for 20 years for being the police. Wow. He killed the 14 year old boy, shot him several times in the back. Wow. And where's this at? I want to say it was in Chicago. Oh, wow. Wow. 20 years, they took his gun and they took his, his right to um, the police, like the street, but they he worked as a police, yeah. he just did death yeah. duty. Like death, yeah, I'm about to say. Like, for like 20 like fucking years. Wow. Wow. You think, you think like, like you know you know what's a funny thing is like, after we had Obama, didn't we think like shit like this we won't be able to talk about? Like it's still people that can make fucking police right we, now. We, we, we lucky. We, okay, so they, 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 they think they gave us Obama. Mm -hmm. But they didn't. We voted for Obama. We brought him in. Right. Now, and black people were like, oh, we made it. When the racist people would say, oh, they think they made it, huh? We just gonna let them think that everything you do, we gonna block it. All right. But what they gave us was hope. Right. I agree. They gave us a, 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 a sense of the future. Mm. They gave us possibilities. Like, if you could, if you could think of, you could do anything that you could think of, especially in Miami. This is mm -hmm. I call it Miami, but I call it Miami. This is uh, what I call it, uh, the American dream. Like you could be whatever you want to be in Miami. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers come to Miami with a degree in medicine and end up getting rich off real estate. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. For real, real shit. <laughs> like, like nobody here works in their profession where they right. got their degrees in. Right. Like, cause this gonna be an opportunity, you just gotta open your fucking eyes. Right. And, and, I, and I think the, the least that Obama did, cause I had, a, I had an argument with my brother, he was like, what are you, what are you gonna do for us? I said, what this not what the, the country can do for you, it's what you can fucking do for your country. Mm. You know that old commercial yeah. shit, I ran Kennedy, that you know, on the Kennedy, Kennedy shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so that, nigga, that nigga was like, man, fuck that shit. He not gonna win, I'm like, what? Yeah. The only reason why Hillary ain't win, cause she's a woman. A lot of these other countries, a lot of third world countries, right. they women can't even speak. So I, I knew that they was gonna have a problem communicating with us as a woman in the White House. As the head person in charge, mm. they don't like some women can't show their body, can't show their faces. Like different people have different rules and different laws the way they run things. Like a lot of a lot of Cubans disappointed me this time. I, a lot of Cubans I know voted for Trump, yeah, yo, Cubans, yeah. and they right. screaming Republican, but they won't buy them to go to Cuba and do something that he can't do. Right. Wow. Trump won Miami Dade County with all these foreigners here, yeah, he including my motherfucking self. Ain't no way he's supposed to won Dade County. He's supposed to lost this shit in the landslide. Right. Landslide. People are just so. Everybody's so just against the grain. Nobody's not loving that neighbor no more. I, that's funny. They trying to figure out what that neighbor do. Because when Trump right. came into town, when Trump <laughs> came to town, all my white neighbors that I thought was cool. Was over there at that rally. See what they I'm saying? was over there, so I was like, "Wow!" When I looked, and, and it and wasn't until George Floyd that then they took off the, 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 the Trump hat. But all of my white neighbors, because he had a and they and they, they, they took off the Trump hat because they didn't want to seem obvious, right. and that's what and that's why a lot of them were mad at Trump. The people that took off their hat, they didn't take off their hat because they they changed their mind. They like Trump. You showed the fucking hand. Why did you show the hand? We can't bluff the poker game no more. Right. Why did you show your pair of aces? When there's three kings on the board already. That, like, why you let them know how we feel and why we think, why? Shut up, just calm down. Let them play crazy. And that's what a, a lot of them did. Because for anybody, for anybody that got common sense, and that's all it takes in this world, common sense for a lot of things. 
to believe that Trump was robbed for the election. So anybody to know, to realize that Trump did not say nothing when them people stormed that Capitol, Capitol building. I, I, I knew he was going to say the Capitol. Go ahead. But when he didn't, and it didn't, when, 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 when y'all don't remember, he gave the order. He said, stand yeah. down yeah. and stand, stand by. by. Stand by. To the yeah. Proud Boys, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Proud Boys, yeah. Yeah, that, that was like a gang. That was like a gang. <laughs> I felt like he was throwing up signs, like with that shit, yeah. And then they did, they were doing Black Lives Matter, uh, Black Lives Matter protests where they were, nobody was doing nothing violent. They were getting shot with tear gas and mm -hmm. kicked and hit with batons and, and all type of shit. Yep. And taking and then, to jail. This is the only time, this is the only time that people went against the police. Like the people at the Capitol say, oh, the police at the Capitol, nothing happened to them. If that would have been black people, they would have said that, you know, Every, you know what I'm saying? You like, know how many motherfuckers would have went to jail, yeah, boy? Yeah, yeah, You know what I mean? They, they, some of them would have been in prison now. Yeah. And those those cops that killed that they said they would have found a way to yep. uh, charge me and yep, you yep, for, yep. for their murder. Yep, very mm -hmm. true. Very true. It's four police committed suicide. Yeah. That shit, yep. If that would if that would have been from anywhere, black people from anywhere, that, that, that they would have blamed. I them. told you, man. This, yeah. this, this how it go. 150,000 white racist men, that's a government funded organization called the Ku Klux Klan. Right. Three niggas, that's the Rico. That's the Act. Rico law. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's organized crime. <laughs> Three niggas, one of y'all gonna shoot, one of y'all gonna drive, and it's gonna be one of y'all idea. Let's go, all y'all, let's go. <laughs> but the Ku Klux Klan have how many members you said? 157,000. Wow. That's, I'm talking about those are known members. Right, right. They got their jackets and patches and all that. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. They, <laughs> they claim a gang. They gang gang. <laughs> the one wait, wait, wait. See, the motherfuckers that, 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 that went to the the, the, the... the sad part about it is that wasn't a clan at the White House. That was regular regular folks. Them was regular folks. There was police officers. Yep. The Walmart Federal job, yeah. agents. It was grandmas out there. Teachers. Yeah. Uh, 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 college professors. They felt like they wanted their country. Yeah. They want their country back. Yeah. And that was Mecca. Yeah, Mega. Make America Great Again. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mega, Mega, Mega. Mega, 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 yeah. I thought you said Core Mega. I was like, no, 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 Core Mega. I thought you said Mega at first. Yeah, yeah. Mega. Yeah. Mega. Mega and then Mega. Yeah. I was like, hold it, no, Make no, no. America Great Again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. They, got it. they got they little clique. Right. Yeah, that's their clique. Then with all the other racist little organizations, all those people were out there, and they came together. All right. We got a problem getting our Hebrews, our Muslims, and our, uh, uh, our regular Christian folks together. Huh. But all of them got together to do something that was illegal on national TV. And told them, take the cop gun. Yeah. You don't remember that part? One so of them you're going to die. Yeah. I, I can't even think to, to talk like that. Like You ain't see the dudes when they testified, the cops? They just man, shaking. Oh, they man, got oh, PTSD. Oh, oh, listen, they yeah. Yeah. Hold on, let me tell yeah. you something. I think all those cops... Deserve at least five million dollars a piece for what they went through. Wow. Wow. Them motherfuckers inside the state capitol, yo. Uh, backing them down. And they were they asking for backup office. and not getting they it. They were calling bitches' name like, where you at? Yeah. yeah that's real. We gotta kill you. <laughs> 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 and they want, and this was Mike Pence. And he had his family in there. He folded because they were calling his name. They would have yeah. killed his ass too. Oh, they was coming for Mike Pence. Yeah, they, they were going. Because yeah, right, he, he had to ratify the the presidency. That's what he, they were trying to stop. That. That's a big word. What you mean? They were. He was trying to make it official. Okay, all right. No, no. Say the words it's, you say. Ratify. Yeah, 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 what what, what college did you go to? Nah, the college of Miami Dade Community College. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where it ended. <laughs> ratify. I got my AA hey, hey over there. Thank you, the Miami Dade. What's going on over there? All right, he's showing out. All right, cool. Oh man, but I got. I damn sure ain't know what ratify. Yeah, I had to stop. I had to stop, man. So, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, once, once Pence, Pence. Like, Pitts conceded. Right. Like Trump the made him the enemy at that, that day. Right. Trump, Trump, Trump said it. Yeah. He, he, he said, coward. This is his vice president. He called his he, vice president. Yeah, he wanted him to not do it, to, to, to stop and not make it official. Wow. 
Damn, I but, forgot but that. But that was the way it goes down. So, so that's what in. the white boys were saying when they was going through this. They was going to get Mike Pence. Yeah, too. they were looking they for him. Straight, they were looking for his office. Did they, they went into his office, right? And he yeah. had his kids. He had his family but with they him. But they, you know, they had like secret hallways. They had to get him out the underground. back. Yeah, they oh, went to the underground. Oh, he was yeah. there. He was there with his oh, family. Everybody was there. They was, they were Trump finna, was there, too? This Trump was, was the outside day. with the rally. This the day that they were supposed to announce it, remember? Wow. Damn, no. Nah, everything, the ceremony, everything go on that day, the first of the Yeah, the voting shit. shit. They make it official. The inauguration. E- no, no. E- no, every state comes and says, all right, my state voted for this, this. And then the vice president goes, all right, it's official. He's president. Bye. Okay. They, they came in at that, that time. They were trying the to cap- stop that shit. A, a couple minutes after yeah, Trump, I, after tr- Trump wasn't there, right. Trump was somewhere else. Gave right. an announcement. Gave had a, a rally. A rally, right. yep. Told him stand by. Stand back and stand by. Stand back and stand by. Whoa. And and I believe that means if I don't stop you, tear that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I think it means. Holy if I don't stop you, tear that shit up. Holy shit. I gotta take a shot, man. I know. Let's take a shot. No, he ain't taking shots, but I'm taking a shot. Damn. Yeah. All right. We'll Thanks, do quick time All right, cool. Let me get let me get Sarah. We just vibing out. You don't sure you don't want a shot. One shot? This is this is This is yeah, this is one shot. What what would you prefer? A little shot. Okay, um the do say I'll take, the, I'll take the, the, puppy the flavor water. shit, the puppy water. Yeah, that's right. Let's, let's try to get you a check. Let's go, baby. That was fifty <laughs> called the puppy. Yeah, puppy, puppy juice, puppy juice, puppy juice. Puppy juice. Yeah, yeah. We got, we got, we got. You know, we keeping it all hip hop over here. Cause we all know if you know. That, 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 that is the space too. You, we all know if you know trick, but our show is about giving off legends. They flowers while they here, man. You know what I mean? And let me just tell you something. I knew. I don't even know, remember you know the first time I met you. We was on, it was me, you, and Punt. And you was trying wow. to get Punt on a track. I don't know if you remember that. What movie was that? Uh, MTV it was, or BT? No, that was the second time. The first time was in like, we was like, not West Palm, I wanna say like Orlando or some shit like that. We all had a show. It was me, you, Punt, Cameron, and I forget who else. And I, I came into your room. Your room was across from mine. I came into your room and you, you played a track. It's like, yo, man, can you let Pun um, uh, uh, hear it? And I was like, yep, yep. And that was the first time I had noticed yeah. your blunt was bl- uh, bl- it was brown. Then I turned away and turned it back. It was, whoo, whoo, white yonder, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it was different. And I said, holy moly, because you're know, in New York. So I'm not even, I'm not, whoa, wait a minute. And, 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 and there was no hiding. It was just like, I was like, oh, shit. That's the first time. Like, yo, niggas in Miami is Crazy. <laughs> so salute to you, Trent. God damn it. Salute. So let's take it from the, be- to the beginning. You were signed to Uncle Luke, right? I, I, no, I, I was never signed to Luke. I actually, I won, I won a couple con- con- contests. And when Luke, Luke took to me, and at the time I was going, I just got out of prison. At the time, Luke was going through uh, something with his baby mama at the time. Okay. They was in court. Okay. So, after I won the contest, I started going to the studio every day, and Luke was like, just ride with me. So, we going, between going to the studio every day and going out of town with him, I ended up moving in the condo with him. Mm-hmm. And we got... He was Luke's roommate? We, <laughs> we, I was actually a tenant who didn't pay rent. <laughs> <laughs> It must have been a wild-ass fucking crib. <laughs> hey, man, we had, we had some good times, and, and I learned a lot from being around him. And this is wild, Trick Daddy, and fresh off the this, press, this, Luke. This, and yeah, I'm, I'm trying uh, to picture that house, you and Luke together in the, in the crib. Hey, man. How long, okay. did, how long did y'all live together? Like, well, Almost a year. Uh, is this Maybe you, a year. Is this when you started to eat the booty? No, I was eating boy. I was eating ass as a little boy eating ass. All right, all right, all right, cool, cool. Moving on. All right, so how was this house? You and Luke living together. So we just, um, at, at, um, Luke was doing his, uh, his album, Uncle Luke, the Uncle Luke mm. album, and um, mm-hmm. he had Verb on his card record. Mm. Um, Verb had two verses, actually. Mm. And Luke, Luke didn't pick this as a single or nothing. Like, you know, mm-hmm. the label picked the single. Mm-hmm. So when the, when the label said, we want this as the single, Scar- after I did the first, they were like, we want, I, I, I came up on an Island record, I believe. Island. Mm-hmm. After that, Island was like, we gonna use this as a single. We need a clean version. Mm-hmm. And Ver second verse was so dirty, he couldn't clean it up. Wow. He would have to redo the whole verse. Yeah. Wow. And the album was already out. I couldn't like, we could just change the whole record. 
Mm. Then Luke was like, you could do another verse? I was like, yeah. So I ended up doing two verses. Mm. So I got a plus plus as my first ever time, my first time ever in the studio. On a Luke album. Yeah, so that was a plus plus. So I ended up signing with Slip and Slide, though, and my first deal. That's Ted Lucas. The first deal, I believe, was with Warlock. Oh, wow. Warlock, yep. Yeah. yeah. I don't know that joint. And then it after, was Slip and Slide Warlock. Right. right then right. after that, Atlantic Records, Craig Calvin showed me amazing shit in the game. And he, he promised me he was going to let me be myself. And I said, okay, that's sign this shit. Stead. And from there, you got to look at my singles. I'm a thug. Yeah. Shut up. Like, yeah. I had shit. Like, like you but, know But what you mean? know what? We had people talk about Craig Common before on the show. Not like how you did. Like, you really just, that was some real live see, what, shit. What, 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 see, one thing, so, one thing, so one thing. He said to you, I ain't going to change it. If you fuck with me, see, and what, he kept what, his word. If you have, if you got, Don't if you got him. a lane, he going to let you drive in your lane. Oh. Atlantic Records was amazing to me. It was wow. one time they had me, dope, Fab, man. Some noise Fat here. Joe, T.I., Twister. They had all of yeah. us at one time. They but, called us the, um, the, uh... Atlantic's still out there kicking ass. What they called the, oh, the, uh, oh, I just had it. You work with Julie Greenworld, too? I work with, okay, Julie came over. Okay, from Def Julie Jam. Julie and, um... Todd Moskowitz. Uh, Mike Kaiser. Talk, Kaiser. Uh huh. And, and um, the other one. Leo um, and Kev? Leo and Kevin uh-huh. Kevin Live. Yeah. That was my favorite label. When those, those when guys. When they came, the, it was even yeah, better. They turned it up. <laughs> they let me yeah. smoke in the, my shit yeah, in the conference room. <laughs> His shit. <laughs> Wait a minute, the conference room? Listen. Let's man. make some noise for that, Dre. And one thing about them, mm. they would give, if you know your shit, they'll give you a job. After your career mm. over, they'll yeah. give you a job. Mm. Yeah. If you know their shit. Mm. And everybody had said, oh, you had to watch them. They was there. They had the word out that they had done stole all this money from Def Jam. I was like, listen, stealing is illegal. You go to jail for stealing. All right. Just like the same people that was, that's mad at Craig Cabin, all right. you go to jail for stealing. Or you get your lawyers on people that stole from you. All right. Now, if you signed a contract and agreed to some bullshit, mm. that's on you, boy. Right. Because right. to quote a Rick Ross lyric, he yeah. said, don't think that Craig Cowman won't, won't send you the shooters or, or send up the shooters. He has a line where he's going at Theo Sotomayor and Craig Cowman, and he's dissing them. So it's, it's just unique to hear the other Miami guy have a totally... So, but, so because, but, but remember... Okay, so pull up that record. Has Ross, Ross, Ross wasn't signed to Atlantic. I forget it's Ross. Ross never was signed no, to Atlantic. But I think he had Meek Mill signed to Atlantic and Wale signed to Atlantic. I, I don't know, but here's the thing. Okay. After after they wouldn't have signed me, I wouldn't have signed my artist to him. Mm. Saying that if they wouldn't have signed Ross, and Ross kind of had no business going yeah. to, to sign Wale and me. Because I, I, I tell like doing TV, I tell them, man, y'all stop trying to tell me corny ass shit to do. Like, I'm gonna be trick daddy for the rest of my life. Don't mm. try to. You can't tell me what to do. I don't do corny ass shit, yo. Like, <laughs> like I'm not doing that. No, some funny shit. Yeah, I do the funny shit, but I'm not corny, yo. Right. I ain't got these. I ain't got these desperate act ass niggas. I'm not putting on the fucking dress. You got. <laughs> There's a lot of women. Get a woman to put the fucking dress on. <laughs> like, come on, man. That's 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 beyond taking one for the team type shit. Don't try me, like. What? But I I, I don't know they really so I, I, yeah, I, well, I, I can't. Your experience with Craig Cowman. I'm telling you, they, they did right let, by you. They listen, and, you, and I heard you say earlier. You said you own your masters. You you could sell your masters. Right? I, I I will sell it. You will. For anybody that's listening, <laughs> I watch it. <laughs> Wait, but what kind of deal was that? Did you got your masters back? How did you? Or did you I mean, always uh, have them? So I don't what, know. the average artists get their masters back after a certain Eight time. Eight years, anyway. I believe it is. Eight years. So why is nobody talking about that? Everybody can't. A lot, of, a lot of the masters ain't worth shit, yo. You got to be worth some shit. You can't, you know. That's a good <laughs> Kill that. You got to be worth some shit, man. <laughs> yeah, I read some shit last night that Michael Jackson um, invested 47, 45 uh, the million. In the Beatles? He, 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 he bought he, he a bunch of Beatles, Beatles shit. catalog. Yeah. That shit worth over a billion now? Yeah, he bought the Beatles catalog. You, you trying to say if Norby come and buy Trick Daddy catalog, is you trying to say? 
I mean, I can't afford it, Trigger. Let me stop. I'm gonna say, I ain't got it. I ain't got it. But let's let's throw it out there. (laughs) But that's that be ill. I I, I know this. I'm gonna sell my shit for enough money Mm -hmm. that. My children gonna be all right, and I don't give a damn because they grow. Them still my children. I'm not no Bill Gates. I'm not right. giving my money to right. research. <laughs> <laughs> my, I want my kids to spend all that shit, <laughs> and if they got something left, leave their kids something. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. I don't give my shit to research something that I'm never gonna see them spend. Uh-huh. I seen them same look uh, c- commercial about Ethiopia, them same kids. Them kids been on there with them flies w- flying around them for 30 years. You mean to tell me y'all ain't fed them kids yet? Them kids is still the same size? My $2 a day? What my $2 a day been doing for 20 years? Well, they, <laughs> that's what they tell you, $2 a day, right? They got people that are president of these nonprofits. Yeah. And they got employees of these nonprofits. They're making money. Okay. What, what's that yeah. one dude that was like, yo, donate? They had me, I bought shirts. Coney, Coney. Coney. And they said, yo, they got kids captive. Oh, I, yeah. They, they got me. Oh, yeah, he got you. I got. I sent the money. I still ain't get my T-shirt. That's all I wanted out the whole deal. But he got your I money. I donated everybody, and they still ain't give me a T-shirt. Coden, right? What's his name? But fuck him, wherever he's at. <laughs> so all I wanted was a t-shirt. I'm gonna stay down with the movement. Holy moly. So now, Trip, everybody think they know how to cook. Everybody from the hood, you a different type. You ain't go to no culinary school, school none yeah, of that nah. shit. I ain't go to regular school. <laughs> right, so, <laughs> so I got my GED. <laughs> right, so, <laughs> so what makes it say, cause Every nigga that, uh, most niggas that I know how to know how to cook cocaine, think they know how to cook regular food. <laughs> like Bobby Just Brown? Just being honest, yeah. Bobby Brown? <laughs> like Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown fried cocaine and chicken. <laughs> this is it's not a rumor, this is in his book. So, what made you say, I'm a real cook? Like, cause you different, you are I, a real cook. Actually, cooking food is easy to me than cooking cocaine. <laughs> Because we, you know, you know, I come from the straight drop area, not no whip. If a nigga doing all this, that's he putting air in the coat. <laughs> he putting air in the coat. The bases ain't gonna get high off that. <laughs> it's gonna be air. They gonna, gonna be fake. How they gonna have gas? <laughs> Hey, that's that's quality good. control. <laughs> that ain't no motherfucker. That ain't no high. Holy but, shit. But 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 for me, mm-hmm. words like nanny, babysitter. All right. Those was like foreign words. Those that was like Spanish to me. Right. It's like if I walk in a room, somebody speaking Spanish, I ain't, I'm not offended. Right. I don't even. It's not even rest. I can't even hear them. That's like <laughs> that's like the seatbelt noise. <laughs> I'd be on the phone. They'd be like, "Put on your seatbelt." Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't even hear the seatbelt shit. That, I'm not. I don't give a fuck about the seatbelt. Like, so, I care about the seatbelt. <laughs> so, so I when I knew that, that mean. Four or five years old, lock my door, don't open up for nobody. Mm-hmm. Your mama leave your ass home. Mm-hmm. After she gone two, three hours, you, you want to eat your son. Yeah. Start off with spam, frying the bologna. Okay. Start off with a little minor shit. Mm-hmm. Get the little, the little cup of macaroni and cheese, put mm-hmm. that in the microwave. Mm-hmm. The Raymond noodles in the pack, but you pop them and put a little water in there, slide the, the plastic bowl. You start off with a little shit like that. I love how you say Raymond noodles. We say ramen. Right. So Which one of us got, is right? It's right. ramen. It's, it's ramen. ramen or it's Raymond? Is it R O or R A? So R A is Ray. He's <laughs> like the Spanish, you don't hear R A is Ray. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's Raymond. 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 Oh, so, but, so after that, it, it, it went to. Fried um, bologna, mm. like I said, spam and mm-hmm. and every other thing. So the easiest, the fastest thing to cook, like you know what I'm saying. And, and there's always some bread because even when you, we didn't get biscuits or a roll, you get just a slice of light bread. That my grandma used to call it light bread. Oh, that's the Wonder Bread. Yeah. Okay. So the the white bread is light bread. That's what she right. calls. So they will throw a two piece on there. See, a meal for me growing up. I'm from the I'm from the real struggle. Uh, my mama from Carolina. My mama from Geechee. Carolina. Geechee. That's what you call Geechee. Geechee. Right. Yeah. Okay. My mama from Carolina where they grew their vegetables mm. and they caught their meat. Mm. So a meal would be a pot of rice and some neck bones with a piece of light bread. Mm-hmm. A meal would be sausage and, and stewed tomatoes on top of the rice. That's a whole meal. Mm. 
chili with a piece of cornbread. Mm. That's a whole meal. When you know you're struggling, when your chili barely got hamburger in there, <laughs> then you know this is the struggle. Right. Liver, mm. liverworth. Mm. You never ate none of those meats? Nah, liverworth, I ain't fucking with that. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. dude. And, 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 my father used to eat chicken liver. The, the li chicken liver is just like liver. I don't like liver neither. I hate liver. Yeah. So the crazy shit is a couple, like, the, 10 years ago, when I first met my wife, I seen chicken liver on a menu somewhere, and I was just like, let me just order this shit. It's the sickest I ever got. I went and tried to order, tried to bite it off my father. I said, me and this nigga different. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were the same. Nah, like, I could not eat no chicken liver. That's your but, barriqua side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could not. But Hennessy straight, tomato juice, Bloody Marys, I could do that. Like, that, that was him. But I continue. What you, go ahead. He was come from the geek. So from there, and then my summers was, my, my summers was not spent mm. playing with my friends, going to summer program. I can't swim. Got kicked out of Boy Scout when I was little because I never show up because I went to the summer, I went to go stay with Grandma. Mm. At 5.30, Grandma wake you up, you go into the bean field with her. You picking squash, okra, tomatoes, strawberries, you mm. picking those things, snap peas. Mm. Mm. And you learn this, you learn to like certain foods because on the bean field, what you'll get is the cinnamon roll with a piece of spice ham or liverworth a sauce meat wrapped around it, and that mm. would be the sandwich. Mm -hmm. So how the how the Jamaicans like the cocoa bread, the cocoa bread with, yeah, the, with, the patty. with the patty in the middle? We we did the opposite with the meat on top of the cinnamon roll. Mm. So you wouldn't care what kind of beans she cooked. So lima beans, pinto beans, mm. uh, uh, northern beans, black eyed peas, pigeon peas, mm. snap beans, green beans, sweet peas. I eat all that shit. Right. And you learn then, another thing, the rice was the main thing of the course. Mm. You always had to have your rice. Mm -hmm. Because it not only, it not only uh, uh, fill you up, but it help you save the money on the meat. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because rice is cheap. Bunch of rice, right? a yeah. piece of meat. So how'd you change this hobby, like, you know, feeding your family and to making it a business because you got Sundays. You got, you got two Sundays? My business, my business partner is, my business partner actually of a, more of a business person. Mm. I, uh, she was a hustler. I was a taker. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we did, we just put our knowledge together, put in our mind what we was going to do. The hardest thing was come up with the name. And when we came up with Sunday, she was like, that's the smartest thing we ever did. You know what I'm saying? And, and our main thing is this. We try to keep our employees, especially our main cooks, happy right. because we don't want them to know our recipes and then don't be working for us that no more. Ooh. That's real shit. So what we have to do is we have to keep the food constantly. It's consistent, got to be consistent. Right. All the food got to taste the same. The greens got to be the same collard greens. And all the recipes, is your recipes or this other? Me, me and Tasha recipes. Okay. So what we did for months is trained our cooks. Mm. And the first two we trained end up leaving like, damn, wow. that's three months wasted. Mm. Wow. Because remember, you, you're talking 30, 40 bunches of greens a day. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're talking 25 pounds of turkey wings that's gonna oh. sell out a right. day. All right. So why they leave? <laughs> they thought well, you, they thought they a lot of people think it be a lot of people think it's easy. Right. And then a lot of people like a lot are more like crabs in the buckets. You know, they feel like we can't work together. It's either me or him type shit. Mm. But at the end of the day, we 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 we, we, we mostly hire high school and college kids so mm -hmm. we can teach them how to have something. Right. We give them the tips every day. Everybody get tips. Right. Uh, the tips averaging $100, $150 a piece a day. Right. We don't pay them like the average servers in a restaurant might get paid 2 $3. Right. They get paid a regular time. Even if we have a meeting, we make them clock in to come and meet with us because their time is valuable too. They could wow. be doing something wow. else. It's fire. And we encourage them, show them um, um, business move, and encourage them to go to college and uh, uh, do uh, uh, pursue a career that's going to benefit them in the future. You know what I'm saying? So that's the main important thing. We don't have no high prices. 
Right. But even though I told him, you need to put a, at least put a dollar on that shit. Right. So, <laughs> you got you, one or two, or you open another one, right? Well, we open another one, but, but remember this, Miami is the hardest place to get yeah. permits and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, that shit took to my wife a year right now to get her shit. She just now got all of her 12 permits. Remember the last time I, I was yeah. her, I'm talking about that? She just got it. Miami's rough. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, I'm You need this person, this person, this person, this person, you're like, damn, what happened to this one paper right here? <laughs> Not in Miami. It'll be backwards half the time. And then this paper got to match this paper or this got to be done over. Yeah. Mm. All right, Trix, this is what we're going to do. This is, this is a part of our show. It's called Quick Time with Slime. Okay. Right. Shout out Racket and Foxhole, by the way. Shout out Racket shout and Foxhole. God damn it, of course. Um, so it's, it's either, if you, could, you, you pick one or the other, if you pick both, you take a shot. If you pick both, you might not pick both. I'm, not, I'm never going to pick both. I'm not <laughs> taking no more shots. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just try to play the game a little, Trick. Let's do, let's okay. do it. All right. Um, get your shot ready. All right. Come on, my man. shot? I'll get my shot ready. I, 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 I'm about this life. All right. All right. And it's called what again? Quick time with slimes. Just pick one real quick and we'll just we'll keep it moving. You uh-huh. know what I mean? It's on you, though. Um, all right. Jay-Z or Nas? <laughs> <laughs> you can, you, you can small one. Okay, Jay-Z. All right, cool, cool, cool. I respect that. Tupac or DMX? Tupac. Ice Cube or Scarface? Hold it, hold it. Give me a shot. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give me a shot. Oh, yeah. Go back, go back, go back, go back. There you go, shit. There you go, shit. I'll take a shot. I'll take, take a shot. shot. Yeah, that's yeah. All. That's, yeah. Just, but that's kind of tricky, Nori. Hold yeah, on. You got to you you gotta play this game. You got to go out and play a fifth. Your name is Trick Daddy. But you, you don't <laughs> put... Yeah, you don't put DMX with, with Pop. You put somebody else that yeah. I have no problem. Yeah, no, no, no problem. Let's take a shot for that, though. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. All right, cool. I'm, now you got me hyped, Trick. Now you got me hyped. All right. Damn. Ice Cube or Scarface? <laughs> <laughs> Scarface. Okay, I didn't expect that. Get my shit ready. I got to start checking these, man. <laughs> so switch it up while you read it. Yeah. I have been. I have been a lot. Um, but I'm, 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 I'm going to stick with it. Two Live Crew or Poison Clan? Two live crew. I knew you was gonna say that. All right. Yeah, I gotta start checking these before. Okay. Podcast or radio? Radio. Of course. He on radio. Uh, Trina or Little Kim? Trina. Okay. Okay, this one I don't know. Pitbull or Flow Rider? <laughs> 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 Damn. You can take a little shot, you know, for, for the crib. You don't want to check. This is the crib. This is the crib now. Pitbull. Okay. Oh, oh shout shit. out Flo Rider. Shit, I'm going to take a shot for that then, then. Shit. Flo, Flo, oh. Flo, my boy, and Flo, that boy, boy, but like me and Pitt grew up together as, as yeah. shorties, man. Like. Okay. So, this one, I don't, I don't, I'm going to go, I'm going to let them live with this one. Rick Ross or Jada Kiss? Rick Ross. Yeah, I don't know he's gonna say that. That's a but no, that's a good one though. It is? Yeah, All because right. a lot of people feel like me and Rick Ross don't really see how to eye. Right. They mm-hmm. think it's some inside shit, but I'm a I'm one of the biggest Rick Ross fans. Like mm. and plus that's home team. Right. Right. I'm never if we, even if me and home team had a problem, I would never tell y'all. Mm-hmm. Right. Real we, shit. We this the crib, like that's you feel right. me? Right. That's yep. right. Okay, this one, Coco's or Rolex? Rolex. Yeah, I'm going Rolex too. Showgirls or BTs? I'm gonna say BT. I never BTs. I, I never been a showgirl. Yeah, you been a showgirl back in the days though in Color no, Ridge. I, I, yeah, no. Color Ridge, right? But I, I no, because well, it was it was it was something it was, else. It was something else. It was a got, black listen, club. Yeah, it was. Uh, I've been to showgirl. I don't like no club when they be like coming to the stage. It's the lovely, fantastic. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. What, what was homie they used to do the clubs there? Um, oh man, what Mirage. Was the- Club Lusions. Nah, but there was a promoter that used to do shit over there all the time. Dewberry. Dewberry, Dewberry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. God, I was there. They robbed me. Yeah. Yeah. Trick, this is the first time. Like, I always heard y'all niggas got strippers that got shot. Like, this is the first time I've literally I seen bitches with bullet wounds in there. I said, this is this is. I love out of, showgirls. Yeah, this is out of line. This is out of line. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, cool, all right. So we said, all right, T Pain or Acorn? T Pain. Okay. Eating booty or eating coochie? No. 
<laughs> Eating booty and sucking coochie. <laughs> that's that's kind of like both. Yeah, let's take a shot for that. <laughs> <laughs> that was both. That's not really because you you you, you, <laughs> you lick booty, yeah. but yeah. you like you like you can't suck booty. You can fuck around and pull some shit up out of there. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> Sucking the knees. <laughs> I was a part of it. I didn't know what was that. What, what? Hey, I'm not with this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool, cool. All right. Kodak Black or Little Baby? Kodak Black. N.W.A. or Wu-Tang Clan? N.W.A. Pharrell or Kanye? Pharrell. I like that. I don't like weirdos. So he wasn't fucking with Kanye when he had on his red hat? I don't like no weird shit he been doing. I, I like his Yeezys. I got them on. You got the Yeezys? <laughs> I, get, I get all colors. So you like something he's doing? If you send me all colors, yeah, I might say your name next time. <laughs> I wear 11. He gonna fly you out and put you on the album. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, uh, take one or the office? Uh. Take one. Never been to take one. Yeah, you have. Yeah. Yeah, we've been to take one. Okay. Yeah. You did take one. Yeah, I took one. It's actually it's the one now because one. take one is this new sh- that right. used to be pink no, no. pussy clad right here by the airport. Yeah, no, the little joint that had the boom, the, the, one, right, the right, right, right. jukebox. Right. Okay, that's the one now. Right. Yeah. My homeboy, Hall of Famer, uh-huh. Adrian James, own the own the place now. Okay. Okay. So you um, alumni I had to throw that out there. Mm. So Luke, in case some Florida State niggas is listening, <laughs> Luke or Jay Prince? Luke. Strip. First, Luke, the first one did it. That's I know. Right. That's right. Luke had his own warehouses, own everything. Not only was his own distributed his own shit. Mm-hmm. True. Merchandise and I was making millions off of T-shirts. Mm-hmm. Luke Skywalker Records. Now, this is the only question. With the little man like this. Yep. This is the only question I'm gonna ask with an explanation. Okay. Regular clubs versus strip clubs. I just want you to break it down. <laughs> they ain't no regular club. They, they ain't no regular club. And I wish it was because there is no so be I, I, I would I would club live would show them how to become a club. Right. Respect your people. Give them an amazing time, something that they will always remember. Right. If you coming in Miami. Or anywhere in the world, in the United States, if you haven't been to club, live, you haven't been to a regular club. That's why I say strip club. I went in a club that was supposed to be a, somebody that was, I thought was cool with me. Ordered a bottle in 1942. The girl charged me $990 for it. If I go to live, if I go to live, my man is going to look out for me. Mike Garner is gonna make sure. To give you regular prices. Put trick in his homeboys yeah, shout in out a headliner, section. Dude. Yep. Right. Exactly. Pick up Mike shout Garner. Out Phil. The headliner. Phil, Phil Mayer. Everybody. Them boys gonna show me love. Mm. And on my last birthday party I had in there, them niggas brought me so many bottles, I was like, Mike, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Mike was like, Trick, just don't open them all. We'll take them back. We'll have them for next year. That's fire. I'm not talking about no cheap shit. Right. I'm talking about the best of the best shit. Yes. If you think you a baller, a big money, everybody talk about how much money they got now. You know the rappers, they get a chain every week and yeah. shit. Yeah, we see them. Where they going to put that shit at? <laughs> we don't know. They get a chain every week, three watches on. Yeah. If you get a chain every week, drive a car that's worth more than $150,000 and own more than two watches and... and and, and say you a big time baller. If you ain't been to club live, you ain't been living. This the, the strip clubs in Miami and Atlanta are the only ones that I know that get naked. What's the best strip club in Miami? Hands down. Right now. The best strip club in Miami. That bitch ain't big as this room right here. <laughs> it's called the Mint Lounge. Uh, 
they always and, and, and it and is it, it's almost connected to the uh, Miami God Police headquarters. It sounds like it's in Alapada. It's not in Alapada. No, it's in Miami, Miami God. Miami God is next to the Miami Police Station, Coast Street. When you when the police station between the police station and the fire station, that street. If you go straight down that street, the mint is right there. Mm-hmm. They got some some of the sexiest natural body bitches. Cause I don't like them bumblebees. I don't like them black ants. I don't like them little egg, little legs, big teeth, big ass. I don't like them. They look like, they look like red ants. I don't like them. They got the, they got the most uh, sexy and prettiest people, and then they, sh- they they made me feel like home. So that's now other clubs that I like and go to, I fuck with G Five. G Five. Okay. I fuck with the Office when okay. when Oprah's in there. Okay. Uh, uh, one of my mans them do got a night in there, and I fuck with the one. You know what I'm saying? But to me, the one is like a younger crowd. I try to like stay away from them. Mm-hmm. They more trigger happy than my generation. Right. And uh, other than that, I I I, I go to the mint. I go to the mint sometimes. Every I'm gonna night. go to the mint. I'm just throw that out there. I don't, I don't, Cause it just sounds just crazy. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna pop. Whenever I'm, you wanna go, hit me up. I go there every night. So just call. I ain't gonna me. lie. <laughs> you did tell me that last time I saw you. I go every so night. I didn't know it was the mint. You said I go there every night. That's the gambling spot slash slip strip club too. No, oh, no, that, it ain't no room to do all that. Okay. <laughs> no room. It's right. All right, cool. All right, all right, all right. The locks or the Migos? Ooh. I'm gonna say the locks because I don't really know the Migos like that. I don't, I don't, I like, I, like for, uh, uh, God damn, it's hot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, as far as the, um, I don't really know the Migos. For, for them to be, the Migos been doing their thing for a couple of years now, over five years or so, right? Yeah. And I never really got, I never really, like, did no, no type of business or had no conversations with them or nothing. And okay. I watched a lot, I watched a lot. All my life and right. all their career, right. pretty much. Right. So amigos do their thing. They got some fine um, women too, but the luck. <laughs> That's important. You gotta have fine women. You gotta have fine. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm taking a picture. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. And they don't recycle them. <laughs> Outcast or UGK? Outcast. Hands down. Okay. For so for somebody else, that would be a hard question. Mm. Cause UGK is Outcast came through with that Dungeon Family man, and them boys clicked up and they separated, did their own thing, and man, you, it's gonna be hard to fuck with them. You can't who you can't put nobody up in no verses against them. Who you gonna put? Outcast, not uh, nobody. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think it'd be fair. Yeah, you would have to put Goody Mob, and I wouldn't do that if I was there. Yeah, I would join that, but, forces with Goody Mob and tell him, come on. But I, I, you, you, you know the one thing Outkast and Goody Mob probably can battle is Wu Tang, but it got to be the whole Wu Tang. But 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 let, let, let me tell you this, right? Oh, we got to be no, dis- no, no disrespect. Against, no against disrespect. Wu-Tang. You can't melt Wu Tang and pull all fifty of how many of them it is? It's nine. <laughs> it's nine. I talk about the, the chain. <laughs> you can't melt them niggas and pour them on the Outkast or the Goody Mob. Ah, I gotta, I gotta. Okay, if you're gonna say that, then let's do this. Mm-hmm. Cause I know for a fact, I know for a fact, 25 years ago I couldn't say this. Okay. East Coast. I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Against talk. the South. I'm ready for this talk. We smoking. The whole East Coast. East Coast against the South. We smoking y'all. Smoking y'all. It's not fresh. He's <laughs> close like, the What's side. going on, Nori? You live out here. <laughs> think, a, think about no, that, no, Nori. No. It, it just never happened, though. I, I, I do understand yeah. that vision. I do understand that vision. Now, I would say... But Outkast against Wu Kang, I think that's... I, 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 what I know now, Nori, no disrespect. Yeah, yeah, no problem. A lot of New York niggas start sounding like us now. You win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, like they don't have the, they right. don't have the you identity. Win. You and, win, and I ain't gonna, y'all, I, I, ain't gonna. I, I would prefer y'all have y'all identity. Yeah, that way it wouldn't be so easy for these niggas we got, from the that's south that's to keep coming out. Exactly, because they keep coming out every week. It's a new hot nigga, and then it's gonna be like. 
You, you, one but, hit wonder. But that's why we got Griselda Records. I don't know if you know about Griselda Records, Benny the Butcher, you know what I'm saying, Conway, and West Side Gun. Right. Sound just like our generation. That's that who we, we gonna we put in the that. forefront. We fucking with them. You we understand need, what I'm saying? Listen, so, you need that. So all the other the dudes that's trying to sound like other dudes, for the duck dumb. You know, we nuts for the duck and dumb. We gonna fuck with the niggas that sound like our, excuse me, that's what we do. We proud to be from where we from. Y'all proud to be from where y'all from. They proud to be from where they from. And, 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 and we gonna and, goddamn. And, 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 it ain't. I know some some other towns that that say our words like pussy ass nigga and fuck niggas. Th those yeah. are Miami words. Yeah, yeah. Atlanta been taking y'all shit for a long time. No, I, and I didn't even I didn't even say Atlanta. He said it. <laughs> I felt like the grills too. Like, like that, that's the been, grills that's is been, Miami. I, yeah. I didn't for a long time. It was in Miami before I saw it anywhere else. The but dreads too. Too. Because remember, we got the, we got the, we had the Jamaican shower posse. We got the yeah. the uh, yeah, shower posse came straight from Jamaica, right here. Yeah, we they, got the Trini. We got the Guyanese. We got uh, all the the West Bahamians. India. Uh, Bahamians. Yeah, it's very we got, true. We had the dread, but, but how the niggas did it, like him, no type of structure with his dread. We tied together. <laughs> got one hanging over here, <laughs> one in your eye. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand. Pick up the rise. <coughs> Make sure no rise. <laughs> All right, cool. We ain't even do it, quick down with slime. This is not quick. That's why I did the thing when they was, they tell the old trick went off on me bills. I didn't go off on me bills. I reacted to something. Go I overreacted who? to who? something. And Meek Mill said the things about they, he, he, his life, and they, they the ones coming to Miami. And niggas want to be like them by wearing Cuban chains and being on yachts. I, I, I was offended because I didn't hear everything. I just heard that. Mm. And I'm not going to mention your city. The only reason why I even mentioned the East Coast because mm. I'm here talking to you. Right, 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 right. So because nobody can't right. get it twisted like, oh, Trick was disrespecting the right. East Coast. No, right, no, right, no. Right. Because the first thing I said, no disrespect. Remember right, right. I said so, that. So, so what, what happened between you and me? I no, I just made a comment like. Okay. Oh, because, yeah, you right. He we, said. Uh, we from a city that was built on drug money. Right, right, right. Like, right. Did all the dumb niggas, mm. well, them is my niggas. Right. <laughs> I know the first crack babies. Like, what do you mean, y'all the first one? How you the first one? Well, Cuban links when the Cubans are from Miami. Right. <laughs> They're called Cuban links. I don't know no Cubans that moved to Miami from Havana and went somewhere else. You, how many you know did that? No, they did actually. But how many you know? A lot. That that that, that don't live in Florida nah, no more. Because when they first came here, like my my parents and their grandparents, when they first got here, remember this. There weren't a lot of Latinos here. On so, South Beach. So they, they gave them free bus tickets or free flights to go anywhere in the country. So a lot of my family ended up in Jersey, in New York, and in L.A. But they, don't have, in LA. but they don't have communities there. No, the Mariel boat lift is what kept them here. That's, what, that's when it was so many, they couldn't change that shit right. after that, which was what, the early 80s. Right, so, so okay, so... Mm -hmm. You're 20 years older than me, so I understand. I'm talking about. I'm I am definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, 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 I ain't telling you. <laughs> but listen, so listen. So, but what I'm saying is, from the 80s, because right. I was born in the 70s. Me too, 75. Okay, so I'm older than you. Okay, okay. I'm gonna I'm give you that. Okay. <laughs> so, well, you know that person because of your your grandparent, but from right, what right, I right. know, right. The Cubans and the Haitians, they first stopped and said, a lot of Haitians Absolutely. did not show up. Yeah. A lot of Haitians in New York, but a lot of them didn't show up. Yeah. I even go even deep as this. I never knew that um, Wycliffe was a Haitian. I mentioned Haitians in my music before he mentioned Haitians. Wow. He kept saying refugee camp. Right. And then a couple years ago, he was running for president of Haiti. I was like, wait a minute, this thing a Haitian? <laughs> <laughs> Because a lot, the Haitians got treated different than the Cubans. Right. If the Cubans made it to land, a Cuban could have got here illegal, got a smuggle here, right? Yeah. Yep. Or came here under another name illegally. Yep. They let him, and, they let him and got on the boat and went out there 20 miles and turned around and act like he came in. Yeah. And got found on the sand. They were going to give him welfare. They were going to give him food stamp, a place to stay. Yeah. They were going to give him all that. Haitians but the Haitians got to go back. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Even if they catch him in their 80. No, they, they, they didn't care about it. One thing about it, listen, I had Haitian homeboys. 
Haitians like the Mexicans, you got to beat the shit out of them. I don't know no soft Haitians. No, no, they not soft yeah. at all. So they had it. So my, they was they was they worried about they, had they was worried about getting deported when we didn't know. See, my mama them used to marry them to get them in the country. That was the thing back then. Right. That was PPP in the eighties. Right. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he killed that. <laughs> he killed that. That was the PPP. Back yeah. You got a Haitian man staring with you, can't speak a lick of English. Your mama don't even give him no pussy, she don't speak to him, talk to him or nothing. But he better be there when the people knock on that door. <laughs> and after a couple days, he got his paper. You don't never see him again. Wow. This is real shit. This is real shit. I don't think we never spoke about this on Drink Chaps. This is a whole political episode. I love it. I love it. We talk, yeah, we can talk about shit. all this we, Miami history shit. I love all day it. Long. Y'all niggas live. Y'all, 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 y'all. Yeah, our, our, our time was was different. Like yeah. that's why when he, when he said that, I'm like, damn. Meek Mill when he said, I got my I got my driver's license when I was literally 14. Because when you get caught with a charge in a car, they issue you a driver license number when they write you a ticket. Because if they don't write you a ticket, the charge don't stick because it's, yeah. it's illegal for everything after that is illegal. So they have to write you a ticket to cover the fact of why they pulled you over, even if you committed an infraction. Yeah. An infraction, any type of, you know what I'm saying? Wow. So I had a driver's license number, never knew it. Right. Like, I, I, I know the signs, like, well, you notice that they haven't been, Scarface, Film mostly in Cali. A lot of yeah. people don't know that. Yeah, yeah, most of it. Yeah. No, I didn't know that. Pretty much all, See, almost all of it. No, like I didn't know that. Yeah. That's yeah. how much I know about Miami. Yeah, yeah. But the pretty sit, the scenes, the water, the, the drop, the certain houses, they here. Yeah. And the right. beginning is real footage. The right. beginning of it is real footage. Right. So, you got to ask yourself, why they never show who Scarface sold them keys to? Mm. Right. My people's bought and sold them shits and took them to Carolina and Virginia right, and right. DC and, and, and distribution in yeah. Georgia and Alabama. Like, like our people caught the fifty and sixty years in prison. Right. Wow. While you caught twelve and got deported back to your country. Right. Right. You feel me? Cause we don't we don't have a movie. That's glorifying the struggle, cause that was the struggle. Yeah. That was our way out of the struggle. And believe it or not, doing a struggle was some of the best time you see in Cocaine black Cowboys folk life. The new one, the, uh, the new one. one, Cocaine Cowboys, the new one. Uh, a new the, the, the TV show, the Netflix the one. Netflix yeah, one. yeah, it's the Willie Falcone. Willie Falcone and um. You got you got to watch that shit. I yeah. that. Because see, yeah. I know a lot of that because, like for instance, uh, San Pedro. Uh-huh. Our county jail had free cable because when San Pedro went to prison in the 80s, he said he wanted to watch TV and he asked the judge, could he have TV? And the judge said, if you buy cable for the whole county, he said, no problem. What, cable so for the whole jail? I, the whole jail had the free county? cable. County oh, had free cable? Dade county got free cable. That's the only good thing it had then. <laughs> That, that I, I was about to make, I'm about to make some that's noise for that, but I don't, think, I don't think that's good. That's the only good thing it had. good to make but, noise for that. But, but um, it's like, I remember we went from Dollar Joints. When y'all was wearing Tim's, wow. we was wearing some shit called Eminem boots. Yep, from the flea market. Yeah. This boot was so exclusive, you can't even Google it to find a picture of this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> The same jackets that they were selling the on, boots. the same jackets that they was, the same Louis jackets and Gucci jackets that we thought was real back in the days. Yeah. We was paying four, five hundred from them in the flea market. Right. And when I went to New York, when I started rapping, they were selling them on the Lower East Side of Manhattan, yeah. on Canal Street. Yeah. Yeah, because they was full gays. We never knew that. Right. So they have a Gucci, <laughs> like, like, they, they have a Gucci cap because we we wasn't materialistic. That wasn't materialistic. But that, was, that was ghetto fabulous. What about MCM? That was out here too, only. MCM. Right? You guys yeah. have MCM out there? Yeah. Come on. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a I'm I'm a kid. I'm a jet. We wear. Yeah, I, 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 like, for instance, Lee Car Sporty. Are you familiar Lee with Lee Car Sporty? Of course. Okay. Dad, Elise, the same shit y'all rapping about. Mm. We was doing that at the same time. That's why I was being kid. That's why we accepted it. Right. Because y'all didn't know, because right. you didn't have family that lived in the South. And, and then another thing, Miami was not considered the South. We were considered as the bottom. Right. Yeah, the bottom. We were in the South. And it wasn't no luxury vacation place because 
Even the people here wasn't going on South Beach. You yeah. couldn't go on no fucking beach, boy. Right. You better get caught on that beach in the right. 80s, boy. Your yeah. ass gonna get right. killed, 80s boy. 80s was rough, right. man. Right. 80s was that's rough. That's crazy. And everybody think that that's the money. Nah, uh, 80s, uh, man, that's South Beach was a hood. That's a mirage. South Beach with bombs, crackheads, yeah, homeless Yeah, South Beach was a hood. That's a, right now, yeah. South Beach is a mirage. Remember the South the Beach boys? The house that Ronnie Sockley bought for 12 million. The South boys. The same house that Ronnie Sockley bought for 12 million. Um, Shaq bought it for 25 and sold it for 40. There's different kind of money in Miami. Uh, you got places like called Pine Crest. Mm -hmm. yeah. You got Clark Gables or Old Cutler Road, Gables Estate, yeah. South Miami. Yeah. You got Cutler Bay out there in the Rantlers mm -hmm. where the motherfucker got 15 acres. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's that money, that grandfather that's did. That's old money, right. yeah. Right, that's yeah. that. They did all what they was gonna do. <laughs> you feel me? Right, right. We didn't, like, we had 99, niggas went to 99 cent movies. Right. Like, yeah, it was like, you know, we played That's My Car. Mm. The car yeah, we, we ain't got no car, but it's Porsches, Lamborghinis, yeah. all that. We seen all that shit in shorties. Right. You could be at the light and be and next to John Shuler. It's like, hey, God. Like, it's nothing. Wow. Yeah, that's the first place that you could see, like, Anybody. Showing your money don't mean nothing out here. Nah, every, because the one with the real way more money. Than the you. one with the real money, they ain't showing it. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, I, you gotta finish quick time of slime. You ain't finished yet? No, because it been it, it so great. All right, cool. Hold on. All right, Boosie or Juvenile? <laughs> His <laughs> laugh. <laughs> Boosie. Okay. Mob Deep or Dog Pound? Oh, pal. Okay. Loyalty or respect? Respect. Cash money or no limit? Huh. Who I think made more money or who I think, who no. I respect whatever the most? Whatever your criteria is, whatever you want. No limit. All right. Because, yeah, I want to get into this. Um, the, the, at one point, Wayne had said some shit. It was a whole thing. You, Wayne, Cash Money. I'm going to get to that later, though. Um, Wayne or Drake? Drake. Uh, okay, that was weird. Right, 90s. That was weird, you said. <laughs> 90s or 2000s? Because he almost made me take a drink. Because <laughs> what, what I was going to say was going to make me eligible for a drink. <laughs> But being, that, 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 being that the statute of limitations <laughs> we that went over that, I'm going to say, ain't they the same person? Uh. That, that deserves a drink trick. I'm, I'm not going to wow. tell you shot. How you just answered that? That's, that, that, that's mine. This is mine. I'm going to give you a little... little a, oh, God. A poquito. That's what we call it in Spanish. Poquito. poquito. Don't worry, we halfway through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we almost... Halfway? <laughs> We almost now, no, I have to, I have to leave in like, I gotta leave in like 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah, we got to, yeah, we can go through that. <laughs> I looked at the dad nigga halfway. <laughs> Holy moly, guacamole. Oh, shit. So what's next for Trick, though? We got Sundays. It's lit. We opening another Sundays. You said this last album. Is that the next thing? Is, is it a movie going with it? I want I want to do the last album. I want to do music with people, everybody that I didn't do music with that I think I so, should have done. New and now. old? New and old. Okay. So. I have like three records with me and Ross. Everybody want to hear us together, but I got the records already. I want to hear y'all together. You want to do something um, new? I got. I'm gonna do something new too. But I got the records together, and we go. Even if we have to give the other records away, we will get the people right. what they want. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Who, uh, who what I want to do next is I want to make sure that we continue back on the, on the same page that we were in Miami mm. where there was an investor from out of town coming to buying our properties and building buildings where we well, we don't have to feel like that in the next 10 years. We can't be able to afford to live here. Mm -hmm. While well, our kids have to move to Georgia because the land and the property is, is, is cheaper. Wow. Yeah. You know what that I'm saying? Is, yeah, I want to turn back to the Miami where the University of Miami is the most respected and feared football team of all mm, time. Mm. 
I want to turn back to the 72 Dolphins where nobody beat us that season like never yeah, happened you're asking before. asking for a lot of things right yeah. now. <laughs> and, 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 and I believe I deserve it because I feel like I'm <laughs> I feel like my, I, I, listen, I sprung my ankle, I tore my meniscus, I told my, uh, I had low ankle sprain and high ankle sprain, I told my ACL, I had surgery. All that got happened because I feel like I told it Miami on my back for so long. Mm, God damn, make some noise for that, God damn. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, I feel like, I feel like we've seen enough, said enough, and done enough. I think it's now it's time for us to get paid for it. Yeah, right. absolutely. I, I think real niggas supposed to get together and, get, and put pressure on fuck niggas and stop killing each other because real niggas supposed to get together and get money. They ain't supposed to get together and shoot at each other. Right. Right. I think that's right. what we're supposed to do. I think that's what we're going to have to do. I think people are going to have to start respecting and expecting uh, criticism. Yeah. Meaning, if I'm older than you, mm-hmm. I can tell you, hey, calm down. Are right, you tripping? Right, right. Right. You know, we need to stick, stick back to our um, culture, our fuck nigga culture, because we don't have ops. Right. Let everybody be who they is and we still be ourselves. And, 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 and well, I want everybody to know that you can come to Miami I want you to enjoy the weather, the nice beaches. You can spend all your money in them stores, in them high-end stores, like a damn a dumbass. <laughs> because 15 years ago, they didn't make that shit in our size because they didn't make it. They didn't want us to wear it. Right. But now we the assholes that are spending money on it, so they're gonna they're gonna come down to our level, mm. right. and they're gonna allow us to do it because that's what makes them what they are. Right. Mm. We spend money on, stop spending money on designers when you don't even know the history of the designer. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Stop recycling these bitches. <laughs> if you're a nigga on a certain level, your next girlfriend can't be my ex-girlfriend. Uh. Mm. And I want everybody to know off my last album, no matter the money, no matter the problems, no matter nothing, that I had a wonderful motherfucking time. Mm. Mm. And, and, and including going to prison, if I had to do over, I'd just do it and accept the weight, the route that I took because I could have went another way, you know? I got friends of mine, family members of mine that's doing life in the graveyard. Mm. In the graveyard. Bullshit. So other than that, I'm, 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 I'm chill. Do you consider yourself retired? I, nah, no, nah, I, I never retire. Like I'm talking about from the mic. No, I never retire because you're never, I, I, I doing this do album, shows. so definitely not. Retire. I always yeah. do shows. I always do concerts, and I'm gonna always sound like the record sound. Mm. Right. You're not gonna rhyme over the vocals. Nah. Uh, you can. You only do. You can do. You have to do that on certain TV shows. But they on the TV track. Yeah, on the TV track. Yeah. 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 But I, I, I trick them every time. I just put my ad libs on there and they mm-hmm. listen a little bit before they realize I'm rapping that shit for real. Because <laughs> I would hate so somebody to say, oh, Trick don't know the lyrics. It's not that. It's that every time I say it, I say something different. Mm-hmm. Because remember, nobody, I wrote this shit. Mm-hmm. I can say what I want to say. Mm-hmm. How you want to say it? You understand what I'm saying? This mm-hmm. ain't like you wrote my shit for me. Mm-hmm. Like, how did you feel when you seen that, when they pointed that out, that, that Dipset was rhyming over vocals? You, you, you mean when... Was it a shot? <laughs> no, so, so you mean when Jadakin said it? Yeah, Jadakin said it. Yeah. He was out front about it. But did he say that before they had on fake diamonds? Or was that after he said they had on he, fake diamonds? He, he said they had on fake diamonds? No. No, stop, Trick. You That's what I'm trying shit. to tell you. Like, my, 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 my that, that verses can't said. go like this. You said you didn't have your volume on. How'd you hear that? I went back and oh. saw it because I had to go and see exactly. Because it, it, was, it was a time when somebody snatched something off somebody's head and throw it on the floor. Yeah. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the bandana. I, I got to see what the fuck he said to him right then. <laughs> Yeah, good. I'm trying. Get your shit together. I can't. I can't do that. You ain't. I can't rap battle either. Have a nigga all in my face spitting and talk about what he gonna do to my mom and my daughter. <laughs> 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 
Like, <laughs> I can't do that. But someone, I'm gonna be like Gilbert Arenas. I'm gonna be waiting on your ass at that bus with that gun. <laughs> <laughs> I, hold on, I, we done with Quick Thomas Line, right? We, uh, holy shit! You know the list like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they make it, but they be fucking up too sometimes. <laughs> The goddamn Dominican uh, the reason, and the Colombian. Like, be, because they don't they don't know you like you know me, so a lot of the questions you know, oh, I know he gonna take this over that. Yeah, 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 I because know Because there's some shit that you, you gotta you, do. You a loyal nigga, though. Like, they, yeah. cause they were saying, um, we was talking to, um, on, on Clubhouse to, um... You like Clubhouse. What a girl named from Jacksonville, B? What a girl named from Jacksonville signed to T.I.? Tokyo Jazz. Tokyo Jazz. Uh -huh. And they was like, they were asking Tokyo Jazz. Uh, if, if T.I. did a verse with somebody who she like she, who you think away she was like T.I. and they was like oh you got well I'm like man shut the fuck up like yo <laughs> like what, what's she supposed to fucking say right yeah she, she on the team see that's the problem right. bitches gotta pick a team man when you pick a team you gotta play for your team <laughs> you gotta play your hardest you gotta play to fucking win your team get in a fight you gotta leave the bitch and go fight with your team like Malice in the Palace <laughs> Malice in the Palace. You seen Raw Test? Yeah, that's, you got it. That's that Queen shit. All that. We running in the stands. And that, boy, Raw <laughs> hey, Test. I, I liked it when they would beat them, they beat that fat boy. That fat boy got a little cheap little lick in. The fans, the fans. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Beat their ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and where, where the trail spree where up from? He was on New York at that time, so we claiming him. Did he beat one of the coaches' ass or something? Let's not even play. One, he was eight. on the Knicks at the time. We claiming him, all right? Let us have that. Let us have that. But he did one choke his... One of the coach his... said something. He told him, man, what the fuck? He choked yeah, the ass. Yeah. See, I remember watching... I remember in the Heat playoff game with Gary Payton told uh, D-Wade, you better watch your motherfucking mouth, nigga. Ooh. I was like, okay. And Gary Payton, what team he was on? The Heat. He was on the Heat, and D. Wade was on the Heat. <laughs> okay, yeah. let me ask this question again. Gary Payton was, and I want to play for the Heat, and D. Wade played for the Heat, but D. Wade said some disrespectful shit to DP. He didn't. D. Wade probably wasn't a Gary Payton fan. I mean, right. Seattle. If they weren't playing in the playoffs, you didn't see them play it back then. Because be Seattle was Sean Kemp and um, Deadly Shrimp. Yeah, yep, okay. And, um, and Orchid, Gary Payton. When, um, that Orchid, 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 um, T, what's the other big boy name, man? He look like uh, Greg Orchestine Orch a little bit. I, not Sean Kemp, I, I thought. No, the, he a big white boy. Oh, no, Sean Kemp ain't white. Um, Sean Kemp was, Sean Kemp was monkey course, man, high flyer. Huh? Did he play for, uh, no, he played for Utah. But he looked like, he remind you of him. Because that was the Sonics before they turned into the Oklahoma. Yeah, the Super Sonics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. But it's all respect. Mm. Everybody was like, well, what, what, how? You deep been playing you 40 years. Yeah. He's the man. You D ain't get in in two years. Got in in the playoffs and told that boy, you better watch your fucking mouth. He the hit man. Y'all know what's going on? Mm -hmm. You got to have a hit man. Mm -hmm. See, the Knicks, we used to have Y'all had a hit man. Y'all yeah. had, I'm going to tell you what his name. What the boy, um, Kyle Corbin. Mm. Yeah, he all hit me. Okay. New? New? Because I don't even know. Well, he's not there no more. I think he, he's not there uh -oh, no okay, more, right? Okay. okay. Next week, did yeah. halfway good. We had Oakley Derek and pa Oakley was Oakley was a hit man. Patrick Ewing was a hit man, too. Mm -hmm. Anthony Mason. Anthony Mason definitely was a hit. Mm -hmm. Anthony Mason was a sleep on, y'all. I think Anthony Mason... I, 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 I like the way he dribbled the ball. He dribbled that bitch hard. That's Queens. It's Queens again. Just yeah. in case you ain't know. <laughs> you can yeah. tell he played pickup ball on the park. That's yeah. that shit. Like I went to a basketball him. camp. Mark Anthony, uh, Mark Jackson. I'm about to say Mark Anthony. That would have been weird. Mark Jackson, Anthony Mason, Kenny Anderson, Kenny Smith, and I forget who else. All the niggas from New York. From Queens. Excuse me. It's Not just New York. From Queens. From Queens. Yeah, yeah. Let's be clear. I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know, goddamn. I don't know if you know, goddamn. We out here. We out here. And oh, I rep the whole New York, goddamn. That's motherfucking right. Jeez, Louise. Yeah, but that, but that's, that's, that's huge. Yeah, that's, yeah. But you know basketball ain't our thing. Yeah, yeah, football. Yeah. You want yeah. me to name them niggas? Let's go. I'm in. Football? Yeah. Well, so do I get the, do I get the name niggas from, you, from the U? Of course you do. 
Yeah, the name of more. The number one line, the number one safety of all time, rest in peace, Sean Taylor. Mm. Mm. God bless. You want me to go with my running backs? Because I got yeah, one yeah. that I got one that been running the ball for 20 years, and you know you're only supposed to do that for three years. Yeah. Had ner- knee surgery on both knees. Call him Frank, Frankie Baby. I call him Frank mm. Gore. 20, mm. a dub at running back. Mm. Started 20 years at running back. Mm. Frank Gore. And he might be two or three in the all-time NFL leading rusher. Woo. Let's go to high school. And then the college. A guy named Troy Davis. First NCAA player to rush for 2,000 yards back to back. Let me stop. Cause them well, high school, high school. No, no. Miami Southridge, of course. Okay, yep. Let me stop, because them just people I know. No, I don't want to no, start naming no, people gotta, I don't even know. You got you to, you got to, you got to. That's from my neighborhood, them there. What? Holy moly, guacamole. Mm. Hell, this, this, is, this is high power shit. But y'all did good on that basketball. Queens did yeah. them. And, that's what <laughs> yeah. they, and I'm saying that not because of the ones you named, what? because the ones that I, you didn't name that I know are what? from Queens. Right. But how about this? How about the Nets? Did you think the Nets? Oh, fuck, fuck the they Nets. right here. Okay, but how about the Lakers now with Westbrook? Is this? I think it's too much. It's too much. Is uh, I think Westbrook and LeBron are gonna bump heads. Now I think Westbrook. Won. AD is the baddest thing on the team, and he's never gonna he's never gonna get the opportunity with LeBron and Westbrook. He never it's only ball? one ball. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it's only one ball. Mm-hmm. I don't think LeBron ever. It's going to pass it to I don't Westbrook. think LeBron ever transitioned into a Kobe Bryant as far as having the, the ball with the last shot. No, but LeBron got the assist, though. And, 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 and threat, then the whole court is like, uh. Mm-hmm. I think LeBron was more like everybody looking at him play. I, I agree with you, but Westbrook got that killer instant like Kobe. So that's going to be a problem because how are you going to pass true. it to LeBron? Yeah, yeah. But what if LeBron bow down and pass it to him? If LeBron do that, they're going to talk about him bad. That's trying to chew. Say so you, you you can't when you when you, when you get yeah. everybody say that we had the big three. That wasn't no fucking big three. Big Chris Boss is soft as fuck, yo. <laughs> Chris Boss is Mickey Mouse. <laughs> that being... And you know the Cubans say that, <laughs> so you know why I say, E Mickey Mouse. <laughs> if they put Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Deep with Mickey Mouse. He ain't nothing. TFN, tall for nothing. <laughs> Jesus. Chris, and they were like, no, Chris Ball did this and this and this, man. Our, our three point shooters between Shane Battier, um, Mike Miller, Ray Allen. <laughs> Uh, and um, the other championship we had Posey was shooting that bitch. Right. Dope boy was shooting that fucking ball, yo. One game, LeBron took took off and actually took it to the goal and won the game. That was one time, LeBron. I got the LeBron South Beach. You know what I had to go through to get them? You got the goal and score, boy. <laughs> You got to say get back every time. Mm. Remember when Shaq came to the league? Yeah. Give me the damn ball. Yep. Shaq was like, the T.O. Breaking break rims and all that. Just throw your hand up. Get here. Fuck uh. that. Get here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Even Dirk Nowitzki did that. Yeah. Even Dirk did that. Give me the so, ball. So hold on, Trick. Just trying to, off subject, but still on subject. So what happened? You and, you and Cash Money had problems prior to that? No, I, I don't have a problem with people. No, I mean before. Nobody didn't get killed. No, of course. Mm. Little Wayne has some, some, Little Wayne, about- okay, so so what happened was, yeah. we won the championship, Little Wayne was on our dick. They won the championship, Little Wayne was in the locker room with them. Like, hold on now. Y'all stay in Miami now. You was just celebrating with us last year. All right. He came out, he spoke to the Heat niggas. They was like, they ain't speak. He said some sleep. They was like, fuck you. You down players. on the other side anyway. Yeah, because he was with, with Dallas. Is he Dallas? wasn't talking that shit. It's so, Dirk, Dirk Nowitzki and them dudes, right? Well, he was wasn't it? disrespecting the crib, you know, right. and, and it's my town, you know. I have to right. 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 restore a little. I'm taking these with me. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we get, we get yeah, them. Yeah. Don't worry about it. We get They're already you. yours. They're already yours. Yeah. They're, and take the moon rock, too. That's moon rock. Oh, I'm going to take, take, take I'm going to put that in the other part. Yeah. <laughs> 
But go ahead, go ahead. And so I just had to let, like, let's remind them, pretty, pretty much let them know, right. like, this is my town. Right. Tough crew, my uh. part of town. Uh. Yeah. So it, it, it's no problem. I don't, I don't have no problem. I don't. One thing I don't have problem with people because you know people have to die, and you know the, the cemeteries are already backed up because of COVID. Right. <laughs> I don't want to die, uh-huh. and I know, nobody's not gonna be locked up. So that's the one who killed Trick. No. Mm-hmm. You just have to be. You gotta stay out of uh, hostile confrontations. Interaction oh, with the police. You know a knucklehead police, he got the cop bow legged and he slam his own door. You know what he's gonna do to yours when he get to it. Mm-hmm. Right. So I advise you to just pull off now. <laughs> not, not even cooperate. Get no, the fuck give, out. Give him some wreck. You got a better chance to give him some wreck. <laughs> he might slip on the way back to the car and give you an extra corner. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't, uh, uh, yeah, I, don't, uh, I try to stay out of the uh, case. That was, that was different advice. <laughs> no, but that's, that's good advice, I'm telling you, because I, I don't know what's going on, but police are real bad right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they don't yeah, they care. Got worse, they, yeah. they, they, they got the police union that are, uh, and I want to say this before I leave, Noah. Mm-hmm. The police union are backing all cops for killing people, for doing dumb shit and all. They backing the cops that was arrested for Involving themselves in the inter- inter- insurrection, right? But they're not begging the cops that was working, that was policing the Capitol building yeah. that day. Yeah, they ain't backing them at all. So who? So they they they, they with the bullshit. Yeah. They need to break that shit down. Yeah, right. Start at the top. Right. Let's start this shit over. Right. Right. Real shit. Nori, you put he, he put some oh, more stuff in that cup. Yeah, we we you know all this. this you know, <laughs> that's his Peruvian roll. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. That's I, I fly him in from Peruvia in my mind. Peruvia, <laughs> right? Bring some of the other shit the next time. Yo, yo, so quick, man. I just want to tell you, man. In case you don't know, man, we appreciate you. You're a legend. Yep. You're you're a person that I've always been cool with for 20 years now, man. Like, we've just been going, I'm sure, EFN the same way. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've, yeah. I've, 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 I, he supported me for a long time. That's right. I man. used to work the street team for Slip and Slide. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Street team shit, right? Yeah. Shit is real. So, I just I just want to personally thank you. I'm knowing, uh, uh, and I just want to say, you, you had something to say to your fans for the end, or, or what you had to say? Uh, Eat Booty just, Gang uh, Incorporated? So uh, No. Well, like I said, <laughs> look out for that Eat a Booty Game merch. Yep. Yes. And for the for the girls, you could be you could eat or be eaten, however you want it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and uh, only one rule. Uh-huh. Two side rule. One rule. No pee pee. No doo doo. <laughs> that's, that's simple. And uh, 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 shitting uh, and squirting included. <laughs> like you need when I say pee pee doo doo, like cause squirt <laughs> is pee too. Squirt is pee. Yeah. Squirt? Yeah. Like, if they squirt, they pissing. When they bust but, and they squirt? Uh, no, when they well, squirt. squirt. Not when they bust, because there's, uh, you, you have you catch a nut, you have a climate, and then the you that, squirt. That do the, All the water stuff? That's piss? Yeah. That's, that's pee. pee. That's pee pee. They've been pissing on us? But yeah. that's a, it's a different kind of pee. <laughs> or, because all I know is that with research after researching it, after all these research, I, I what, come to what, find what out. What college you went to, man? I went to uh, DeSoto <laughs> Correction. But listen, <laughs> what I found out is that the bladder is empty after they squirt. What's in the back but in the bladder? <laughs> pee <Pee-pees>. <laughs> If a girl squirt on the bed, don't change the sheet. Let it dry. If that shit is brown, that's pee. Only water don't turn brown. That's a test. Mm. Yeah. Mm. All these years, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and and, 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 and I, I'm not, I'm not, not, if they don't do it too much, I like it. But when they just do it, I'm like... <laughs> Now, it, it, this bitch got a weak bladder. <laughs> you, you just overdoing it. <laughs> Why you eating them out? Uh, I wasn't a bit, you know you could drown. You know they say a teaspoon of water drown you. <laughs> if, if, I get, if, a, if a bitch pee on me, and, I'm telling y'all right now. Drown. If a bitch a pee, if, if a bitch pee down my mouth or in my nose and kill me, y'all make sure that bitch is prosecuted to the fullest. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's, then you're not supposed to die off eating nobody out. <laughs> <laughs> Under no circumstances. <laughs> you gotta wear a snorkeler. <laughs> this is literally the first time I wasn't ready. <laughs> I literally wasn't ready. Oh, oh, shit, trick. So that's how we ended this trick on a. I love and appreciate my fans because I know by fan, a fan of Trick Daddy is a fan of realness, mm-hmm. a fan of real hip hop and R and B, of a fan of, of the real America, the true right. the, the, the the true street blues of America. Mm-hmm. Not just, and did I ask you would you battle Ti? Did I ask you that? I would battle anybody. You and Ti? I would versus against anybody. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that would be Who's winning, winning, man? I, I'm, I'm not Dale Earnhardt Jr. I'm senior. Mm. So you say I'm Batman. So let's just Robin cool. is gonna be my sidekick. Mm. I'm shooting and driving. Mm. So let's be clear for the record. We saying anybody. If Ti take this, I challenge. don't care, Nori. I don't care who it is. If my mama had an album, she better <laughs> run up on me. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> T.I. I don't care. Silk the shopper. <laughs> Silk my main man. I fuck with Silk. But I, I like Silk as a person yeah, more, right. way more than I like him as a rapper. Plies. Mm. Bring him on. Mm. And tell him to bring some help with him. Juvenile. Tell Plies, I tell you what, tell Plies to go get somebody else to help him and they jump me. Mm. How about juvenile? Anybody, Nori. <laughs> Anybody. Hi. Anybody, Nori. Mystical? Nori. <laughs> Anybody, Nori. <laughs> I, I don't I, I don't see there's nothing more to say. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a picture of that shit. Yeah.